They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Yes, sir. We got a familiar face with returning. Us returning guest. <laughs> my man <laughs> David. David. How you doing, the David? The one and only, the one that created our intro. Hey. Oh yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank Big you, thank you. props to David. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that you, that fire intro that you see that you're gonna be seeing on our videos and that we posted on the last uh, uh, episode. Episode, yeah, yeah. All all credit to him, man. Yep. He did a solid job. I love yep. it. Yep. Love thank it, I guys. love it. Thank you. How you doing today, brother? Pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain. Ooh. Busy. Yeah, school's back. School's yeah. Yeah. back in session, so you yeah. got to deal with bullshit traffic again. <laughs> yeah. That, that's trash. And it was raining today, so. Yeah, because when I was going through Six Mile, it was it was pretty, it was, it was yeah, boring. traffic was backed oh, up. Oh, dude, it was pouring. I was trying to yeah. put in uh, air in my tires, and I tried to, like, time it right before, and I got in, like, before it started raining. As soon as I hop out of the car, it just, oh, it just poured out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's tough, man. That's crazy. That's tough, but it's much needed. Any day we get rain, I don't need to see the sun because it's too fucking hot. Yeah, it's <laughs> hot 200 some days a year anyway, hot, yeah. so you know, And, and this really. is this is peak summer, so one, we're halfway through the month. At the end of this, we're going to be cruising the rest of the year. Yeah. But, uh, so... A lot of things have been happening recently, um, especially with the, within this past week. It started on Monday. Um, Trump's ha- home in Mar-a-Lago was raided by the FBI. And whoop, whoop. yeah, controversy. It's People crazy, are gonna man. listen because they heard Trump. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's popping off. Uh, it's shit, it's man. popping off. Yeah, man. it is. And, and now people are picking sides. Politicians are picking sides, and we're back where we started again. You know, of course, saying? yeah. We're back where we started again. Um, so, off of the information that you know, if if you have any insight on that. What what goes through your mind when you see stuff like that? What 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 do you think we're gonna be expecting in the coming months, or maybe even oh, days? Shit. Dude, honestly, I don't see this going anywhere good. I think they've kind of opened a Pandora's box situation. I think essentially the Democrats have put themselves in a corner because, like, let's say they go in, they do the raid and everything, and let's say they don't find anything like. They need to find a banger. You know what I mean? Right. They need to find something that could put him behind bars. Yeah, because I know they said that they had to prove to the judge that he legitimately has something in order for them to approve the warrant. Beyond plausible deniability. Beyond plausible deniability before they do that, yeah. If they don't have something, like, concrete, solid, concrete, like, this is the first time. And also the fact that I just heard today that Biden's administration knew and confirmed it. Yeah, they confirmed it. So they knew about it. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time a previous administration has legally attacked through law a previous administration. Right. Right. And if we see in other communist or socialist countries like – or a lot of Muslim countries, especially uh, Saudi Arabia, Mm -hmm. that one guy that's the leader of them now, as soon as he got to power, he literally threw half of his family in jail. Damn, right. half thing. of yeah. his family. It didn't even crazy. matter that they were family. Yeah. Threw half of them in jail. Yeah, it's the then, same thing with like North Korea and shit. Mm-hmm. But the, what they do is they don't just throw them in jail because you can't just do that. You have to make them look like they're doing something bad. Mm-hmm. So all these people are shady. So it's not that hard to find some dirt on mm-hmm. them. Yeah, 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 of course. But you got to make it look even worse so that you also make yourself look like you're the savior. You're the savior. And you're fixing you're the problem. Right. So and I, I feel, feel like it. if that is what happens here. Like that's like some banana republic. We're stuff. we're back to the whole Russia gate. You see know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was a whole hoax. That was a whole hoax. And right, now you're right. gonna do this, like after people don't trust you, like the FBI. Nobody trusts the FBI. And Nobody. That's tough, dude. And that's tough. And that's sad. Like, and do you really think it's because they don't want him to run in, in 2024? Is there? A, do you believe such... there's a bigger reason behind that, though? Dude, I honestly. I don't think it's just that, man. I, yeah. Honestly, the the only thing I can come to terms with is I don't think he's any saint, 
but I think he's got something on them. Okay. I think he's got something major uh, on them. Ah, okay. Just in I case think, they always they try to take him down. I don't know if it's like some Epstein stuff like that or if he's got some type of files where he found something. I don't know. I feel like he's got something major and I feel like because it doesn't make sense. Why why do they freak out so much over this man? It's it, you know it's true. I mean? It's almost psychotic. Why, yeah. why would you freak like the especially like CNN? Literally, they fell apart because Trump went out of office. Right, and their viewership went down ninety percent. Went down. Damn. 90%. Literally, they yeah. went out of business because Trump went out of office. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. That is he how gave him a job. Yeah. He gave that he whole gave because they had a shit job. to talk about him every single day. Yeah, and I feel like we're doing good, especially like. Okay, there, there's still gonna be like political discourse, you know, yeah. between left and right. But like we're like we're chilling out, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because in 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 the time we're all dealing with whatever the bullshit's going on, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We're all dealing with the gun violence. We're all dealing with the inflation. We all understood that you know, uh, bullshit was happening overseas, and you know, uh, uh, it was potentially affecting us. But like there was that understanding that okay, we've moved past this. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And it's like now it's like once you know we we got down to a smolder, and they just relit the fire again. But the question that I have is, if there's nothing to implicate him in a crime, why would he plead the fifth four hundred and forty times? Say it one more time. If there's nothing to implicate him for a crime, why would he plead the fifth four hundred and forty times? That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, and and and, that's and, and and that's and, and and that's a separate case from this FBI raid. This mm-hmm. is for for the Southern District of New York, mm. with the uh, the lady coming after him. His lawyers advised him, "Don't answer any questions." Yeah. The only question he ever answered was, "Is your name Donald J. Trump?" <laughs> 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 and that was it. That was and that. that was it. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to say that. Okay. Uh. uh that there's he's like completely innocent. He's completely yeah. innocent. No, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way. You there's know what I'm yeah, dude. There's no way. Once it, you it, get it, to that position, dude, right? You have to step block. on some people. You have to do some shady shit. And yeah. I and I believe that with all billionaires, all multi like no one like once you get to that level of money, nothing you do is clean and ethical. You see what I'm because saying? honestly, if you think about it, to get to that level, you have to be ferocious. You because have to. Somebody else is going to take it from you. So if you don't demand that respect from right. other people, right. they're just going to take it from you. you see so it's I'm like you, you have to be like it's that. It's just stuff like that. There. And one other thing that 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 I found out, which was which is kind of trippy, um, there was a law he signed. There was a bill that he signed into law in 2018 that up the charges for um, uh, destroying or tampering with classified information that's due, like, due to be put in the National Archives. Yeah. If you tampered with that information, uh, the, the penalty was one year in federal prison. He signed a bill upping that to five years. But now you're hearing claims that he took classified information from the White House. I also heard, though, as president, it is totally legal for you to do that. Right. Is that protected under... Uh, I, I, I don't know for sure, but I that? I did read under somewhere that it is. Apparently, only the president has jurisdiction to legally do that. If somebody like you did that, somebody else in the White House did that, yeah. that's illegal. But, but even after the... Is it during or after their term, af- though? Yeah, is after it, their Is term. it technically legal right. for them? Like, to, under his it. term, like, I yeah. would understand... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold for on, sure. I'll pull it up for you guys. For sure, for sure. Like, uh, and the mic is good, right? Yeah, mics are good. All right, just make sure. No worries, Jeff. <laughs> While I'm pulling this up, I do have one question, though. Yes, right? sir. So, my question to a lot of what you just said mm-hmm. is, A, no, I don't think... Uh, I think there's a lot of shady stuff with Trump, too. And I do yeah, think that there's a lot... All right, it, he's not infallible. Like, That's understandable. He should be taken down just like... I mean, I can't say that he should be taken down because I don't know exactly what he did. What he but did. I definitely think mm-hmm. that he, like all of them, there's something shady going on. Mm-hmm. One thing that I don't like is I don't like how they're treating this compared to Hillary Clinton back in 2016. She literally took a hammer and destroyed evidence. 
like literally destroyed the evidence. That's government. And government you don't property. Where where like where was the raid? Where was the where was the outcry? Right. Where was the uh you know what I mean? Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, I was all of, right. where was all of that? Yeah, but it's all. It just because I don't know. It just for, seems for me. I would say there was an outcry, but not from but nothing the, happened. Right, but nothing, nothing happened. happened. Exactly. Right. It actually nothing. seems like something might happen to him, mm -hmm. but like nobody knew it. Now nobody, everybody knew nothing mm -hmm. was going to happen to her, mm -hmm. and like that's exactly what happened. And that's exactly what. Happened. Oh, I just found the one thing. Um, what? Uh, Do you think it's because he might have dirt on? said persons or well yeah because wasn't he the okay. first one to go ahead the president has the ability to declassify materials before leaving the white house okay. yeah, but not after not after so right. after he left the white house they found out that he took the classified documents but if he yes. declassifies yes. them he has to make them public they have to be made but public. he didn't do that he but just he left them he just left them in his mar -a -Lago estate. and that's where like the sketchy shit comes up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? You got to question everything. Of you, course, you yeah. You have to question everything. But again, too, that's why I was asking. Um, since they have dirt on him, on whatever it is, does he have dirt on them? Okay. He's if, got it. Okay. I feel like they all got dirt on him. But here's course, the thing, yeah. though. They, like, if, well, he, if he has okay, dirt, why doesn't he just... Because that's his, that's his leverage. Like, because, go ahead. Okay, this, this is exactly what I think it is. Okay, yeah. so I... This is going to sound off topic, but... No, no you're good. I really go don't think it is off topic. This is what I think happened. So, do you know how Jeffrey Epstein used to blackmail people? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because he controlled their money. Yeah. And so, their secrets. Yeah. yeah. That, that's insane. Literally recording people doing horrendous, horrendous things. Horrendous Where the, you, with that, they're your slave, right? Yeah. yeah. So... Let's say the reason why none of them put dirt on each other is because both of them have a video like that of each other. Uh, so uh, neither one can make the poll because I got you too. Right. It's if like you we both bury got the me, gun. I'm burying you <laughs> yeah. too. Who's shooting first? Who's shooting both hands are on yeah. the trigger. Like they both got right. nukes and it's, neither of them is going to... And I think that's exactly the way like <clears throat> when it comes to the Democrats and Republicans, I think like a lot of them are tied in that yeah. because it's like... None of them like each other. Yeah. But they all work together. But they all work together. Why? Yeah. Ooh, they have to. Right, right. Because it's Ooh. like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like, I feel like, because another thing too is the list of all those people that went to that island, nobody knows the names on those lists. Yeah. Why? Or somebody why? somebody has the name of the list right. and that, they're just that holding even, leverage. Why or, is that even hidden though? We right. know it exists. It's yeah. actually confirmed. Why is it hidden? It. How but, can you explain that? Here's story? one thing. This might sound off topic, but <clears throat> check this out, right? Okay. You remember uh, when, because uh, I believe they did release, like, a portion of the list. But not the whole thing. But not the whole thing. But who was on there? They mentioned Will Smith's name. Yep. Notice, ah! after that, his whole life went to shit. Yep. His whole life went <laughs> to true. shit. That's true. His wife started dragging him through the mud. Who else was confirmed on that island? Oh, I think man. Oprah, I, think. I think Oprah. Oprah was also confirmed Will on Smith. Was Bill Gates confirmed on I it? I think Bill Gates, uh, uh, the Clintons. Something. Yeah, the Clintons were also confirmed on Clintons that. Clintons were also confirmed too. on there. But, partial. like, we already knew that. The the Prince, the, the, the Prince, uh, the what's his name? Prince? Um... Oh, oh, Queen uh, Elizabeth's Queen son. son. Yeah, her, her, oh, her not Prince Harry, Andrews? but uh, Harry Prince Andrew. Andrew, Andrew. Prince Andrew, Andrew. and yeah. he recently oh had God. a civil suit back in America yeah. uh, 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 related to that case, mm -hmm. where he just did a payoff, just like yep. okay, Here's the, here, I'll just the pay money. you off, hush, hush. leave this alone, yeah. and then the Dude. the royal family like disowned him because they knew if he went down. They were they taking well again, well again too again too, the other uh, the other theory is that's why uh, Prince Harry left the, right the, the yeah young, Prince the, Harry hurt. that's yeah. what I that's what I yeah. think and too. then they're he threatening yeah, yeah they're threatening his yeah 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 so he's like we're they're like we're no longer providing you with royal security yep. uh, so they moved uh, right yeah so they, they moved. moved they moved out because that's, they knew their life was in danger true. and that's the only reason why not only that I I remember conspiracy theories we're head deep in it oh yeah yeah but but again too that's what that but this isn't even a conspiracy though no this is like verified like exactly it's real but that's the crazy thing 
they want to make it sound like it is. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? If and it sounds crazy, crazy enough, people will believe it. And people will believe it. Do you exactly. know where the term conspiracy actually came from? No. No. Enlighten us. It came from, it came, actually, the CIA created the term conspiracy, and they coined it after the JFK assassination. Because mm. every, every, every JFK died right. after that. Because any, because it was to get people to stop talking about it. Even their granddaughter died in a plane crash, what was it? Yeah, two, three, all their family. Two, two, three years ago? All their family. Yeah, she was plane like 18. Plane crash, Dude. car accident. Yeah. Think about it like this, right? So, that was a time, so now we don't have freedom of speech anymore. No, no. Not at all. that's gone. No, no. Back I'm not the, even gonna bullshit on it's that. It's a cover. No. It's yeah. a cover. Let's just be real. Right. Back in the day, though, especially like before the internet and everything like that, you actually did. Right. You oh actually, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You, back in that time, they did. So this is the thing: how do you get people to stop saying something that you want them to not talk about without forcibly doing it? Because if you forcibly do it, you're gonna get an outcry. People are gonna stop you. Mm-hmm. So you can't do it that way. So you have to go. You have to go about it a more articulate way. So instead of forcing people to do it, you get people to police each other. So you get people to look like retards or morons mm-hmm. so that the like because think about it, the word conspiracy has power just behind the word. Right. Yeah. The moment somebody's talking about something and you're in a group of people, if somebody says conspiracy, they automatically think you're most right. of those people turn off it automatically. De- it's, it's, yeah. discredits off. everything. Think right. about that. Right. That word is that powerful right. to do that. So, like, that's it, that's how, like, I don't know exactly how they implemented it in to do it like that, mm-hmm. but, like, that's what that word does. And that's what people do. They throw it away like it's trash. They pretend like it doesn't exist. But, again, too, most of this information is on the internet. It's not like we're talking right. like, crazy this or anything like that. Bull- this is, this right. is not bullshit that we made up out of our minds. It is on the internet. It's public. on, like, federal, you know, exactly. websites exactly. And, and actually databases and shit that you can pull up and access, you exactly. know, government data databases that you can pull up and access so like and then in the thing that's like mind-boggling why no one ever what i understand shit happens a while ago but like when uh when the fbi declassifies something yeah and then you're like well that's what it was the entire time it's like uaps but it's like yeah Yeah. you see what i'm saying (laughs) but it's like but people are like well that happened a long time ago so whatever whatever it doesn't matter it's like but it's happening now. If it happened a long time ago, Still don't you happened. think they've gotten better at doing it? Exactly. You know, like, you know, it's just shit like that. But so, you think people would recognize uh, the pattern throughout the, the decades. But right. Th- they just ignore what happened ignore 10, uh, tw- 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, and then they just continue for- moving forward with whatever it is. And then they pretend that everything that happened in the past mm-hmm. didn't exist. And it's like... We've been saying this for decades. You just now are listening because mm-hmm. now it's on video or now people are releasing it uh, unclassified. Right. Let's get to the point where like, you really can't deny it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So it, it, to me, it's ridiculous. Like, you, you look like the fool for denying it. For exactly. Denying it. Right. Exactly. It's you like know? the table's turned. But going back to the whole, you know, uh, uh, Trump. an extension of that. Uh, it's the like, Trump FDBI? Yeah. Um, going back to like, uh, <clears throat> so him coming out and saying it. Um, cause I know Merrick Garland had a whole, you know, uh, uh, what you call it? Um, discussion or he, he, he just gave a, a, a talk on it, uh, about a few hours ago. And he was like, all of this information was supposed to remain classified, you know, classified yeah. secret. You know what I'm saying? But because there was such a huge outcry from his supporters and, and members in Congress and, and, and whatnot, like he said in his own words now i have to go to a federal judge and have them unseal the warrants so we can combat these false accusations yeah so it's like is he calling trump's bluff like where does this go from now because it's like okay you're saying this shit is fake and we wanted to keep it under wraps to protect you know our uh uh, uh agents and you and whatever da da da. we could have done this under the table but because there's such a big reaction to it now we got to go to a federal judge and have them uh, uh uh sign off on unsealing this warrant yeah you know what i'm saying so like now he he threw the ball in trump's court it's like all right do you if you're pleading your innocence why not have this you know un- unzipped you know uh declassify this warrant that that we went to your your home for so it's like what's the next step to that you see what I'm saying? Like, we're, th- and that's what's so interesting about this. Who's got the bigger gun? Who has the bigger gun? I think that's what it is. Who has you see the bigger what I'm saying? Gun? Who has the bigger gun? And you can tell it's like 
yeah, we know Biden signed off of it, but he's publicly trying to distance himself so far from it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to Too say, late for that. Yeah, it's a little too late. Yeah, it's, it's, too, it's late too late for that. Exactly. Exactly. Signatures all over the, the, the it's title. It's a little too late for that. Indeed. So. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it's just stuff like, and this is just all new information. Like, I'm still trying to, like, process, you know, what's happening because mm-hmm. this week started off with a bang. And, <laughs> yeah, with a bang. <laughs> with a fucking and it just bang. kept going up here from there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then we're so close to midterm elections, elections yeah. so that that seems kind of the dirty. timing seems really fishy yeah it just seems you know what fishy. I'm saying? Yeah. like primaries are happening right now midterms are coming up in a couple months you know what i'm saying you want to you want to throw dirt on like you could have done this at any point you had two years you could have done this in but the you're choosing, yeah. Other year, yeah but bro. you're choosing now you could have exactly. done this last year you could have done this instead of the, the oh wait no they couldn't do the russian thing because he was in office at that time he was in office yeah at he that was time. But either then you yeah had two years to do it you know wait saying? now to do it. They wait now to do it. But it's like, if not now, then when? You see what I'm saying? Because if not now, you do it next year. No, ne- but like, why not do it before? Oh, right. like even before. If, if you actually knew he did something like that, right. wait. Yeah, that's true. If you actually want justice, like yeah, you that's true. want. But or they, is there something else behind it you want? There's always a hidden agenda. But they agenda. did say they had an informant that was close to Trump. They, okay. yeah, yeah, they did say they had an informant that was close to Trump, and that's how uh, they were feeding the January 6th panel all these uh, 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 text messages like, who to go after? Okay, mm-hmm. we want your phone records. We want your phone records. Like, you think they just decided, oh, we're just going to go after everyone who supported Trump. They knew specifically who to get. They knew specifically who to go. Yeah. So there's someone near Trump, because uh, his attorneys are reporting that He's paranoid right now. <laughs> of course. He's paranoid right he now. not? And he's only keeping his attorneys near him. But it's like, it goes back to, even your attorneys could so fuck it's not you Rudy, over. So it's not Rudy Giuliani? Right. Even your it's attorneys not. can fuck you over. No, his uh, informant. Rudy Giuliani. No, his informant. Rudy. It might not right. be Rudy. <laughs> yeah. Rudy Giuliani. Right. Rudy Giuliani. That man's on a different level. Yeah. He's, he's not even, I don't even think he owns a majority of whatever's happening what's cooking under the yeah. table right now um but it goes back to the whole it's like in his position who can you trust you see what i'm saying yeah because yeah, that's true it goes it yeah, goes well, back to even this past week with the whole uh info wars alex jones dude that was crazy do you really think his attorney million? that was the dumbest thing i ever heard do you think his attorney they accidentally, accidentally sent, sent four ev- years of everything, phone records everything to the prosecution <laughs> that's crazy come accidentally. on accidentally, accidentally. when they realized that he was not gonna pay them they accidentally when they pulled out the whiteboard jeff's like it's over it's over <laughs> Because I was like, and and I said this in the previous episode, I was like, bro, the moment they pull out the whiteboard, just stop lying. Yep. Just stop lying. Yep. They accidentally typed in the the, the attorney's name. They sent the prosecution four years of his phone records. To to their email by accident. That you had to type in the email. Put and then the walk, attached yeah. files on there and then send uh-huh. it to them. That, that was uh-huh. by accident. And then Get in the, the entire time, the whole... <laughs> and that's what sucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, if the, the attorney-client privilege... Like, if you accidentally did something like that with your client, you would tell them. Yeah. But they, they let did. him go on the stand and perjure himself for 30 minutes. And then after his deposition... His, yeah, after his deposition, they that's when the prosecutor was like, let's pull out the whiteboard. They're like, so <laughs> you're claiming X, Y, and Z. You didn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. And they're just leading him. They have the reel, just reeling them in. Yep. And he just continues to perjure himself. You got to be quicker than well, that. Well, a few days. How can they ago, legally use those phone records? Um, I believe they admitted it through, they passed it through. Yeah, the they have to, add, yeah, they have to they, admit they it through had, evidence. Right. They have to admit yeah. it through evidence. And then the judge has to approve it. Mm-hmm. And so. the judge approved it. Yep, and the judge approved it, and, it's, and it was so sad because like, and and not, and not for him, but just for like the whole thing, like it was more of like a pity, like I pitied him because he was so confident, because he went into the case to like make a spectacle, like to stick it to them, you know what I'm saying, you're not getting any of this information, so like he'd be really loud, he'd, you know, uh, 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 
discredit, you know, the prosecution and da da da. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and his attorney is just sitting there <laughs> with the pen in his mouth, knowing what's about to happen. They didn't even let him know. They didn't even let him know, bro. They didn't even let him know. Oh yeah, bro. like like when he told me the reason why, I'm like, yeah, he's not paying us, so we we don't give a fuck anymore. I'm like, <laughs> we're doing this for free at this point. Well. I don't know if he was paying them or not, but it's just like... But why do that, though? You see what I'm saying? But that's the thing. You have... Uh, uh, even, like, use an example with the Daredevil. Yeah. Look at what the... the What was it? The something attorney? The uh, something... District attorney. Yeah. Oh. They can shut you down. That's they true. They can trump up some charges that's on true. you. That's true. Blackmail you and be like, if you let this man get off with X, Y, Z... We're going to bury you. You see what I'm saying? We're so gonna... you think it was kind of a threat on their I part? I think it was a threat. On their part. On 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 uh, Alex Jones's team. So it was that like throw him to the wolves so they can focus on right. him instead of right. where they're Right, and then after okay. uh, 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 that was released at the end of the case when they finished the sentencing and everything. That's crazy. 45 million. 45 million. 45 plus 4 mil to the family. So 49. So who's getting that 45 million? I think it's just that one family. Just that one family. That one family. Because they that, they asked they sued for a hundred million. They sued for a hundred million, but and, and, he only gave them four. Right. Then they found out that his business made eight hundred thousand dollars a day. So they're like, "There's no way you cannot afford to pay this family yeah. that much money." That so much the money. the forty five point eight million. And his net worth, along with his uh, production, two hundred seventy. Two hundred seventy million. Have a net worth of two hundred seventy million. Yeah. So he has to pay the forty five yeah, million. Man. So, and then the craziest thing was after the entire case, um, uh, when uh, the prosecution was talking to the judge, uh, they were asking the judge for her permission because the January 6th committee requested his <laughs> phone records. The January 6th committee requested his phone They're trying to bury this man. Yeah, requested his phone him. records between him, Roger Stone, and anyone who was uh, in there? Who was uh, who was Im implicated on the whole? You know what's funny system. about that? The funny, like this is what I find funny, dude. Hearing all of that is just <clears throat> like for years, dude. We've heard like fake news stories from accredited news yeah sources, news sources, yeah news channels for years, dude. Nothing happens, nothing or even happens. if it does, nothing like that. You know what I mean? And then, but just because this is the same man, remember the Bohemian Grove? video i showed you yes 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 yeah, 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 yeah. that's the guy that uncovered it <laughs> holy oh, shit, shit. It making more sense now yep. yeah he's also the same guy that really delved into the epstein crap mm -hmm. really got into it and really un uncovered a lot of shit like yeah. a lot of people think that and he's still alive that's crazy well think about it because this is my this is what i'm thinking i'm thinking because he had such a, a massive fan base that they couldn't just kill him Gotcha. Right. Because if they just killed him, oh, all the like he has a massive fan base. Like all of us would be like, okay, we obviously know who did it, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, at yeah, this point, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's true. So they have to come at him in different ways. Right. Backups, his backup ruined probably his have reputation. Backups. Yeah. And notice how they it's, they, they they had a perfect thing because he did fuck up with the Sandy Hook thing. I will admit, mm -hmm. did mess up with that. But it they just waited for a perfect opportunity for him to slip and then boom bury him and they got him and they got him they got him they got him got that man bro but and that's the thing that just trips me out the most is like it's all to, to me the only reason why that sentence was that big or the only reason why they really came at him like that is because he's the same guy that uncovered a lot of shit mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah oh yeah absolutely and i'm pretty sure like the 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 uh district attorney pushed the family to really you know go after them because it's like any normal person really wouldn't challenge they don't so. even know how to do it yeah yeah you know no I mean? exactly. yeah i yeah. don't know the don't know legal do. loopholes Loopholes, to go yeah. through to go after someone like that that big exactly you know what i'm saying that's why people go to school for it exactly it's like, like yeah. i don't know <laughs> that. sit here and act like we know how to do that uh, yeah what's like the that... point of being a lawyer then <laughs> that's not common knowledge <laughs> you know what i'm saying no, it's so not. it's like when when i'm thinking about that shit it's like man some shit's about to pop off mm -hmm. yeah and it's gonna get ugly and that kind of transitions into cincinnati yeah the, the incident that happened this morning uh, with Cincinnati where it's like now you have these outcries for defund the FBI 
and defund a lot of these uh, departments. Radicals. Uh, you know, right, yeah, I'm going to call it what it is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you, there's crazy people yeah, right, who right. act on their ideals. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially and, if they believe something wholeheartedly, right. yeah. You see what I'm saying? It, it, and if it, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But just like uh, sovereign citizens, sovereign citizens, yeah, just like sovereign right. citizens you know that saying? don't believe in it's only the constitution. Yeah, is it the only that I don't even think they I subscribe think to the constitution. The, the first... I think it's the Bill of Rights. They only subscribe to the Bill of Rights. Bill so of Rights. the Bill of Rights was the template for the constitution. Yeah, mm. yeah. So land, liberty, and something, and something else. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So they don't in the pursuit uh, of happiness. In the pursuit of happiness, happiness. I, I think it was something. So like, yeah, yeah. But so yeah, so now you hear these outcries for defund the FBI, and it's like now we're challenging these institutions. And of course, you're gonna have your 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 fringe groups on the internet who will talk about you know actually taking up arms against these institutions. Yeah. Mm. And the idea was, and it just seemed just. I'll leave it at that. But you have <laughs> you, you have these you know so. I'm guessing, uh, not guessing, but that's what was reported, you know. You know, it just Information's happens. there. Right. Right. Information's yeah. there. It's not like you're it making just it happened. up. So, yeah. um, an individual uh, armed himself in, like, full uh, 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 tactical gear, gear, tactical gear, yeah. uh, AK-47, AR-15, and he was going to lone wolf the FBI. <laughs> in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati. This man walked in there like Rambo. Like <laughs> Rambo, bro. And had a whole shootout with him, motherfucker. Damn. And then it for led no up, reason. For no reason. And it just led up to a high speed chase. After and he ran wait, out. He got in there, shot up the place, was able to get out of there. Get he out ran out of bullets. He ran out of bullets. And they, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to <laughs> no, you're discredit good, the horrible thing that happened. But like. Really, and no one died. You let a guy walk in there yeah. with weapons as the FBI. You guys all have guns strapped to you. They would have They'll... sniped me eight hundred yards away. Yeah, you. These the are moment the... they saw me get out the car <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> armored vest. <laughs> boop, all right, yep, we, yep, we just clipped that weed over there. The yeah. he got back in the car and drove off. And drove off. Drove off. High speed chase. Like, what? That's so wild. <laughs> That's so wild. That's so That's wild. That's how you know it's fake. It's fake. Like, don't they have clearance, security clearance, to even get? To the, to the, the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like that popped off earlier today, and now it's like it, it kind of reinforces the, you know, like we're onto something big and people are trying to stop us, yep, yep. you know, type of a uh, 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 scenario, and it's like how much of that is, like I don't think. Here's my thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, nobody, nobody died. Did no anybody get shot? No one got shot. So he so shot no all one, those bullets. No one got shot. No, no one died. What was and he, he also made it out of there. And he also made it out of there. You know, I think it I is. I don't know. You know, I think it is. It's a know. mis. It's a misdirect. It's a misdirect to focus on something else besides what's going. What's really going on? But that's the thing. It's like that's that's what it that's looks what like. It is. Right. That's, that's unless what he it looks unless like. he got blanks and put it in there. My question and is, then just <laughs> where the fuck is nobody's expecting it? How do you not at least? Not to sound like an out, but how do you not hit some, at least one person? Exactly. When aren't nobody's expecting. all trained? It? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, aren't y'all like? Don't you have to? Don't, don't you all go to Quantico to like, to get into the FBI? Like, you know what? But yeah, okay, all right. you know you ask too many questions. You know what I'm saying? You going I, don't, to I don't know about that story. That's very strange. <laughs> <laughs> now they're yeah. starting. To, there's there's a lot. But of yeah, that shit that just story, happened yeah. today. So give it a give it a little bit, and then maybe we'll really get start more information. The, the meat and potatoes of what's really. Yeah, happened. we found out this uh, sovereign citizen decided to shoot blanks at the FBI, then jump in his vehicle and, <laughs> and do a high speed chase on I nine. Like, <laughs> what is the end game? Like I know people always talk about. Okay, civil sometimes war, there civil isn't war, civil war. Sometimes but, there isn't. Put this in your head. Are you truly ready for that? No, I don't think anybody will. You be. call no, for dude. it, no. like individuals yeah, call nah. for it. But are you truly I don't ready? Think anybody's for it? ready for it, <laughs> dude. You see what war, I'm saying? Nobody's ready for war. No. So, even, and, and, even like and are the... you fighting for an ideal or are you fighting for one man? You see what I'm saying? Because it's like you you have a certain individual who, who who wholeheartedly believe Trump was sent by God. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, because yeah, you'll have those Trump flags with him. Trump was sent yeah. by God. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
once you tie God to an individual, it's inseparable. That's when it's yeah. It's inseparable because yeah. yeah. they wholeheartedly believe To those believe that. who deny that, they're denying God. Dude, and I I got into a lot of that on the uh, the Vatican documentary with the popes, mm-hmm. and like this is one thing like I didn't like it's so dangerous to. Like, I, I always used to wonder, like, when, like, I would read the Bible and I would think, like, when Jesus, like, called himself God, mm-hmm. like, why they freaked out and, like, were, like, had such an outcry. But then I think about it and I look at the popes, right? Yeah. And I see what, like, so I do believe Jesus to be God, mm-hmm. right? But let's say, let's take a pope, for example, right? I don't personally believe uh, him to be God. I, I People who are outside of the Catholic belief also I would say believe the same thing. The same that thing. Yeah. Don't right. believe that he is from God. From God. Yeah, like exactly. That. We would all look at the Pope as a total sham and a scam. And mm. somebody who is manipulating and abusing uh, people under him who, uh, in a very, like, what makes it, like, worse is, like, you're not just messing with somebody's pockets. Like, you're messing with somebody's soul. Yeah, that's what yep. makes it worse. Exactly. Yeah, it because is. it's like these people really believe with their whole heart that you're gonna lead them to salvation. Mm-hmm. That like when they die, they're gonna go where you said they were gonna go. And like, dude, let's say like they die. What like let's say if like we don't all just cease to exist, mm-hmm. we actually go somewhere, mm-hmm. and it's not where you were told. Yeah. So Ooh, then it's like, Ooh. well, who was the who was the pope before uh, Francis? Is it Benedict. It, I was think Benedict. Benedict. Yeah. I think it was Benedict. Well, he, he retired early, right? Because the crazy thing was, because I was, was talking, yeah, because mm-hmm. I was talking to my brother about about that and how, and and how this is just a small thing, but um, how uh, everybody in that the country didn't like um, homosexuals or gay people, but then Pope Francis comes in, accepts them, so now they all accept them. Yeah. That's it. So, that's exactly so, what happened. I'm like. Oh, so you're exactly. telling me, dude, <laughs> what not, the fuck just happened? Not only did pa- pope. Okay, this is one thing that's weird. About what the fuck just pope, happened? Pope Francis is is a fucking insane pope. Like it, even with pope standards, like <laughs> <laughs> pope standards. That's a thing. <laughs> he, it's so crazy yeah. because like he basically like when I was doing research on Pope Francis, like he doesn't prescribe to his religion that he claims to believe in. Damn, he doesn't. Because, like, one thing, the homosexuality thing. Okay, look, if you claim to believe in God and you claim to believe in the Holy Scriptures, mm-hmm. get, being gay is a sin. Mm. Just like lying is a sin. Yeah. Right? Like, you can't claim to believe. Like, because you're, like, where Catholics and Christians get their Beliefs. source of truth, like, truth itself yeah, yeah, yeah. is yeah. from this book. Mm-hmm. This book is supposed to give you truth itself. It's supposed to be unchanging, mm-hmm. right? That is the belief. So if you claim to believe that, you can't do... Sh- you know what I'm saying? Right. You can't you do can't, stuff yeah, like that. You can't. That's or not facts, only that, right. he goes and he tries to... He's been doing this one thing ever since he got into uh, the... The position. The position. Yeah. He's trying to bring in all these religions together into one. Okay. He's bringing Judaism. He's bringing uh, different Muslim religions. He's bringing uh, Catholicism. All of these different religions. He's trying to bring together uh, Islam into like one religion saying that we all believe in different gods but it's okay because like it's all we're all going to be led to the same god God. but the thing is Uh, if you actually study and read those different religions that's not what any of them say yeah Yeah, they all say look this is the way to it if you do anything else outside of this way you're going to hell that's what they all say Yeah. So, and he's bringing them all together as if, like, no, it's all fine. We're all worshiping the same God. And it's like... And he's making them believe What this. are you... Yeah, it's like, what yeah. are you telling these people? Uh, you know what I mean? I feel it. I feel it. So, it's it's literally blind faith. Blind faith. I th- I look at him as a, as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Ah, uh, okay. A wolf so in it. sheep's clothing. Yeah, you also... You actually have a, a, a documentary on that. That's a... Is it a document documentary? Right? Okay, yeah, I, I can call it. Yeah, documentary. Yeah. A documentary on that dropping out on YouTube on your Illusions channel. Illusion channel on YouTube, guys, check it out. It's dropping tonight, but <laughs> you won't know that until Tuesday. Until Tuesday, yeah, because that's <laughs> but, when we're releasing the episode. Yeah, but if you haven't uh, checked it out, check it out. It's on YouTube.com. Uh, Illusion, 
Illusion or illusion? At, at illusion. At illusion. illusion. At illusion. illusion. Check it out, guys. Yeah. And subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah. It is my man puts out really good content. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So check that out. But yeah, man, it's like, it's like once you do that, you know, those who deny that, that that belief, you know, who 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 reject Trump, you can say they're rejecting God. If you believe that Trump was sent by God. By God, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then that's where it's like, now we're going to be fighting for something greater. And once you believe you're fighting for something greater, you know what I'm saying? That's where things start going downhill. That's when people... You're going down the rabbit hole. It's bad. Because, like, well... Because if you think about it, like... How do you explain it? Yeah. You can't... You can't associate any one person, like, to God. Right. Right? Because, like, we see when it comes to, like, uh, just like you said, like, supporters with Trump, right? Like, they are what you would call fanatics. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Because, like, like when it comes to uh, Trump, like, I would look at him and just say that he's saying just a lot of things you want to hear. Right. And because, like, slogans are a very powerful uh, thing. Hitler yeah. was... Oh, dude was fucked. Hitler knew the game of slogans. He knew it. And that's what a lot of these people who claim that, like, they're from God or claim mm-hmm. to be, like, prophets yeah. and stuff like that, they all create slogans, which are short sentences that people can grab that resonates to, like, the soul, resonates mm-hmm. to their history or something mm-hmm. like that. And, like, because, like, they bring in these masses of people because they say these few short things and then they feel like they know the person. They gotcha. feel like they've uh, that the person understands them, they've connected with that them. they're like a fatherly or motherly figure that they're going to lead them um, into like the promised land. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like so, even if you know they suffer under that guidance, they it's will, worth it. It's worth it. It's worth there it because it's for the cause. Because it's for the cause. It's for the cause. That's that's nutty, man. Could like, you? Because because. I always had the belief that, and it's even in scripture, it's like when Jesus returned, it'll be like a thief in the night. He won't announce himself. He won't He won't be this boisterous figure. You see what I'm saying? And then that draws comparisons to like, where people compare Trump to the Antichrist. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Or it's like... He announces himself. He, he puts is it, that boisterous He puts figure. himself out there, he yeah. He puts himself out there. Because he wants he, people to notice him and follow right. him and worship and, him. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and things like that. And then you get that idea where, okay, maybe this is the Antichrist. And then, of course, through the whole 2016 campaign and, of course, the 2020 campaign, uh, uh, you've seen, like, memes... I've with a reference yeah, that... I've seen, it, I've seen a lot of that before. Yeah. And I gotta say, personally... I do kind of find it interesting. I don't necessarily believe in it, but I do. I understand why people would think that. Mm-hmm. I understand like where people come from with that. Um, it's 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 hard to. This is one thing that like I feel like every generation has done. We like the Bible is very complicated and extremely complex, especially mm-hmm. when you get into Revelations. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of symbolism. It's a lot of uh, well, mainly it's a lot of symbolism. Now, trying to understand like what that symbolism is actually truly mm-hmm. saying, that's where all of that's, us get mixed that's up. That's where we get mixed yeah, up because yes. it doesn't speak about things that are direct. It paints a picture for you because it, it came to him in a dream. It came to him or a dream yeah. or whatever. Dream, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, dream. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah so throughout like the generations like we'll see characteristics of uh somebody who has the characteristics of what is spoken about and the antichrist and we'll be like okay well it's got to be that it's got to be that like back in the day people used to think it was hitler it was hitler right they also used to think for the longest time actually it was the catholic church they thought the pope was the was antichrist, the antichrist. I got you. right and they right. actually originally got that from um not even just uh protestants but other because there's a bunch of different denominations mm-hmm. even jehovah witnesses thought the same thing um, but it's just, it's a, it's a weird thing how throughout the generations, like people will prescribe different individuals to these characters. Um, and it's, 
the life still continues. Right. Is the weird thing. Because, like, right. if he really is supposed to be the Antichrist, it, everything's supposed to end after him. So yeah. it's like all those people were wrong. Because didn't they say the Antichrist would unite the nations? It's Well, this is what it says about him. It says that he comes in, he essentially creates world peace where he solves the world's problems. And that's how he gets everybody to follow him. Yep. Right? And then he sets up three things. He'll set up a one world government, a one world currency, and a one world religion. And during that time when he sets up everything, that's when he's supposed to basically try to wipe out all Christians proclaim himself to be god and to be worshipped this is where the mark of the beast comes in where you can't buy trade or sell anything mm -hmm. without having this mark if you do get the mark you're in revelations you're banished to hell because you're essentially selling yourself you've sold yourself out. gotcha yeah so then after the antichrist the timeline is also another thing that's very symbolic nobody understands how long he's actually going to be here or what it says that he's supposed to be here for how long but essentially he's here for a time he does all that then jesus shows up where it says that he literally opens up the sky like a scroll mm -hmm. and then that the this was an interesting verse it says that the people will hide themselves in the caves and the rocks and cry out for the rocks to hide themselves from the face of the lord mm -hmm. now one thing that's interesting about that verse you ever seen those underground cave systems mm -hmm. yes those major like they those look catacombs like, and... like like cities Oh, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah. Like the yeah. massive underground. Underground buried cities. Yeah, absolutely. This is, like, this is one thing that's. Now, this is just totally my own personal off topic little belief. But I do find it interesting that it does state that because, in my thinking, like, I think what like is going to happen is basically God's going to show, like, some cataclysmic event's going to happen mm -hmm. where all the elites go underground. God shows up. And then they're all going to be crying for the rocks and everything to hide them yeah, so that he doesn't see them. Mm -hmm. So, but then essentially that happens. He basically wipes them all out. And then that's when he starts the new heaven and the new earth. Okay. So quick summary. That's what happens. That's what's up. Okay. So like, and, and before that is the rapture, right? So the rapture is actually something that doesn't actually happen in the bible mm. not in the way that most people so it's the, depicted the rapture is so most okay so a lot of christians get the rapture belief it started from i believe the early 19th century but a lot of pastors would preach that uh christians would get raptured before the antichrist showed up so essentially right before the antichrist showed up jesus would show up rapture everybody <laughs> and then the Antichrist would show up and then Jesus would show up again and then save the people who got saved during that time and then do all that other mm -hmm. stuff. It's not what it says. <laughs> what it actually <laughs> says is essentially, basically the timeline is those who are, because one of the verses is it says, the one who endures to the end shall be saved. And it also does say, uh, Matthew 24, that they will literally take you up to tribulation and they will kill you on my name. Um, it also says when they take you to court, don't worry about what you are to say for the Holy Spirit will give you the words to say. Yeah. So he's literally preparing all believers that look, when he shows up, you will be here. You yeah. will die. You will suffer and die. Right. And, and, <clears throat> gotcha. But if you endure till the end, you will be saved. Wow. So then after, so, and then it also states there's another verse where the martyrs are literally crying to God for justice. Because they're seeing their brothers and sisters getting killed on earth still. And they're crying to God saying, look, when are you going to end it? When are you going to come in and actually bring justice to the situation? Yeah. And he tells them to wait a little while longer and he gives them white robes. And then he waits a little while longer and then that's when and that's Jesus when shows up and does all that. Mm. So it's a, it's a weird thing. I think the reason why that belief came is because... A lot of people have what I would consider wishful thinking right. in life scenarios. Yeah. Nobody wants to think that they're going to have to die for their faith. Nobody wants to think that their life's going to be hard. Nobody wants to think that horrible things are going to happen to them. So I think that it's... Uh, it's like a cope, kind of? I think essentially like pastors, I think what happened was they were trying to bring people into the church okay. and telling people that. Brought Is it really church. the best thing that uh, people yeah, want to yeah. hear? You right. scare people away. When you actually teach what the Bible says, you scare people away. 
It just, it just plain that's and right. simple. Yeah. People don't right. like to yeah. hear what right. it actually says. The horrible right. stuff in there, yeah. So I think that's what, and that's where I think we also get mega churches from. I mm. think like slowly over the years, oh, like I, I think it started with good intentions. Like they wanted to bring people in, but they're like, yo, we can't really talk about this kind of stuff. So let's like, let's just kind of like change it a little bit. Umbrella, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think okay. like over time, it slowly changed, and that's like what happened. Wow. Because okay. that belief did start from like it was the 18th or 19th century. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like when the uh, back in the Roman times when the Christianity was like spread throughout, spread throughout worldwide. Right. Mm -hmm. That belief wasn't in existence. It wasn't a thing. So oh. it's a it's a new thing. Wow. So it's weird. Wow. I'm spitting information. Yo, no bar, bar, bro, he came. Yeah, he came yeah. for, I love that's it. Oh, that's why I love talking about. He, he I knows. find religion to be so he fascinating. Knows. Yeah. Knows. There's so many hidden uh, secrets and gems behind it. It's just Dude, whether you is. want to take the time to explore it and understand it instead of pushing it away because uh it doesn't fit your it, life it doesn't fit your lifestyle uh, it, or and, and, or the whole of uh, you have to have faith in order to believe that there is a god and that he exists so but yeah that's that's crazy that's wild that's wild uh censorship oh yeah oh. Mm. shadow band so hold on let me see if i can pull let me pull up these photos oh yeah absolutely yeah. all right so the first one they took down yeah, let, let's introduce these because uh, we were okay, we were scro we were going through uh, uh, your TikTok uh, a, a week ago. I believe so. Yeah, it was about a week ago, and we saw a post where uh, you were explaining how TikTok shadow banned you, um, and now you're you're looking. I don't know if you're looking to appeal it, but if if that's in the future, please break that down for us, man. What happened? Yeah, censorship. So the first so i made a regular tiktok which is illusion <coughs> and they took down the first video which was the woke culture video and i don't remember what they said because again i didn't take a screenshot of it but they took that one down and i tried appealing it and they actually put it back up oh, okay so, cool cool but beans. This is something that I've noticed. There's a the catch. Right. There's a catch. <laughs> and they're slick with it. This is what tiktok does if they take a video down instantly you are shadow banned mm -hmm. for like a week it could be days it could be two weeks it could be a month you are shadow banned and you will never whether know. that appeal goes through and that video is back up you're still shadow banned wow. you are still shadow banned wow so that's why a lot of youtubers sometimes says you we need to work against the algorithm because we are shadow banned we're on shadow youtube banned. or shadow banned it's a real on, thing yeah, wow. yeah. And so and the reason why i noticed it was the way I was able to prove it for real was I made a backup account, right? Sounds so the backup good. account actually, because the first account was shadow banned, it was getting traction. The backup account actually got bigger than the original account. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So the backup account at this point has 700 followers. The, wow, that's what's up. Nice. Yeah, that's solid. Um, that's the other solid. one has 500. But the reason why, the only reason I'm bringing those numbers up is just because when they took down... When they took down a second video, the, let me pull up the exact thing. When they took down my second video, and I'll show you the screenshot real quick, which was for, uh, oh yeah, I literally made a video of TikTok shadow ban explaining it, and they took that video down. Oh, wow. <laughs> they took that video down. Yo. You can't explain shadow ban to them. <laughs> oh, we're going to shadow ban you. You know what? In so this is the video so as you can see tiktok shadow ban on the top right. yeah and you see the community guideline uh, community thing oh, yeah. wow. oh wow oh okay, wow so now like yeah, after yeah. that happened did you like just well hold on you know what the reason was for read it out integrity and authenticity what how do you what the fuck what is, is that, that? What how is, do you even gauge that what does that how even do you mean? gauge someone's integrity <laughs> <coughs> and often this is what they said yo violation reasons integrity and authenticity content that is intended to deceive or mislead any of our community members endangers our trust our trust-based community we do not allow such content on our platform this includes activities such as spamming impersonation and disinformation campaigns so that's it's the disinformation campaign disinformation that's what they hit me for and they don't even give you like that's that's No, they just took that shit down. They just took this shit took down. Like down. they don't even tell you No, they just take it down specifically. 
And that That's had to stupid. be someone that reported that, right? Yep. Like someone had to... Yep. So that it only takes one person to fuck you over. Yep. So then, so this is what's interesting, right? So the illusion, the regular one, has only 500 followers, <laughs> right? Yeah. The other one has 700. I post, so as, wait. So this is the video. Uh, it got taken down, so I had to literally re-upload it because they wouldn't appeal it this time. Okay. I had to actually delete it and upload it uh... again, right? So this next video on the regular account, which has less followers, the next video got 2,000 2, views. views. Wow, right? okay. It gets 2,000 views, 200 likes, and it has comments. So there's a lot of traction on that video. But then the backup, I post the same video at the same exact time. You know how many views the other one gets? With This is the backup who has 200 more followers. It gets 156 views. Oh, that's... Oh, and then every previous week, 9,000 views, 1,500 views. That's Tell me that's not nuts. Shallow, man. Yeah, that's shallow. Man. That is that's big shallow. Big shallow. Like, it's just <laughs> like. That's, sh- that's shit, dude. So that's damn, true. that's that's crazy. The, the way the way censorship yeah. was, it's, yeah, and the way it is now. Because it's like, like who's regulating that? Like, it, and it works different for each China. platform, right? China is regulating. China. Oh yeah, China. But like, wouldn't that help China? Aren't they against woke shit? Like what? Shouldn't yeah. that that's be what helping? Blew my mind. Okay, so that's how I know it's <laughs> it's not just them. It's also people. Mm-hmm. Because I knew the woke culture was a divisive topic, but mm-hmm. I know people on that side do have a tendency to just report people for absolutely right. it's no It's like, reason. I no don't reason. even care. Yeah. You said the words, you said the trigger words, <laughs> report. Report, ban. Ban, you know, absolutely. That's just, absolutely. so that's why I, and then also talking with my sister who has been on TikTok for about over a year <laughs> and going through Reddit on research that it, it's just what they do wow That's like great. literally wow. people can just report you and they'll take your video down they don't even they don't even check it there's no de- damn that just take it down that's so ass like where are we going with censorship but yeah. this is what's funny though so i the reason why they don't tell you about the shadow ban though is like they try to be sneaky with it they try to be like oh well you could just appeal your video and it'll be put back up most of the time yeah your video will get taken yeah. back up but nobody's gonna see it. Yeah, ain't no one gonna. Yeah. So, so it's, it's the, the same point. Thing. Yeah, it's the same shit. Yeah. You just covered me with a curtain. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Basically. I'm just recording in the dark now. You just covered me with a curtain that you didn't tell me and didn't tell any of my fans about. Yeah, exactly. So you know what I'm saying? That's, essentially, you gotta beat the algorithm in order for people to know that you're. That's action. nuts, man. So it, it doesn't even matter how PG you are, because some idiot can just report you. Report you. Yeah, that's fact. Yeah. Just because they because, don't like you. Because it it hurt their feelings. It, <laughs> they were offended. That's trip. Hey, man. Because I know how YouTube's algorithm works. Because, like, if I get a copyright claim or some some type of claim, um, you can appeal it. But you have to think twice. Because if YouTube... Okay, is, so if I get a copyright strike, what do I do? Um, if you get a copyright strike... It's the smartest thing for me to do. I would say appeal it or at least find, uh, uh, <laughs> like, maybe... Get in contact with someone in the YouTube team, uh, and then personally talk to them. Or you could go on Twitter. Okay, so try to get in contact with somebody there right. before, yeah. I before yeah, you because yeah, yeah. see if they can fix it. Exactly. Because here's the catch twenty two, right? Let's say you do appeal it. If YouTube deems that your appeal isn't valid, they won't keep it a a, a block. They'll just delete your whole channel. They'll That's just crazy. delete your whole channel. That is crazy. And you also can't be monetized. <laughs> and you can't they, be monetized, right. When they give you that strike, right? Mm-hmm. So can't you monetize. have to get it appealed. So you have to get it appealed. So if you spent hours on a video and it's like you post it and you want to monetize it and they claim it, you have to appeal it. But what I would do, I would get in contact with them, with them first because <laughs> you could contact their support team. Um through email, Twitter, uh, you can actually find individuals who work for YouTube and actually talk to them and, and talk and to them, talk to them uh, yeah, in, in in person and you know try to get that sorted out because and that's how they get you because it's like we're gonna make you hesitate before. That's so stupid. It's bro. so dumb. Well, it's again, so dumb. The one question I was asking myself like, how and when did this all start? Like, 
the whole censorship and, and I think this was after I think with tech companies. Yeah, when, when uh, uh personally for YouTube that was when Susan Wojcicki that's wild. Oh, Wojcicki. Oh, okay. Susan Wojcicki. Uh when she took uh uh when she became CEO of YouTube in 2014 cuz that was when what did they call it? The the something. It was like the you remember when YouTube got super big and they started demonetizing and deleting channels? Yes. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. You know what I'm talking I remember about. That. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, they, they, there was a word for it that people were coining the terms, and a lot of big YouTubers I used to watch in high school. Got one killed. that you mentioned, uh, Leafy is here. Nate's vlogs. Yeah, he's gone. Um, uh, what's the other one? Equals three. A lot they of them. All got... They were all getting axed because of this lady right here. Because of what they said back in wow. the videos yeah. from like 10. yeah and then it was crazy too because even people would start searching the old videos just to just to report, report them because even philip defranco had got um demonetized on one of his mm -hmm. old videos his when old he was like videos. early 20s when he was in his early 20s recording in his mom's house on a huge like camera setup Dude, they went back because he was a lot more like he he was young, you know what I'm saying? He was hot bloody. He was just like more crazy with with the things that he said. But there was, uh, 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 I was gonna say verity, but there was truth to what he said. Yeah. But it's just saying? like I mean, you really have nothing better to do with your life than literally stalk somebody. A lot of people do. Yeah, people so have people time. People got time. Life. People well, got time. Like... Especially with internet. Like I said, they have these echo chambers, these these places where they'll culminate, which is why you have concepts such as like the beehive like an entire cult for beyonce you see what i'm saying what? yes <laughs> yes they Some will reddit or something? this is reddit twitter <laughs> yes yeah. dude yeah and yes. if you say anything negative they're right which is right where away. like what's the thing for the kardashians what, what, what's the thing called I, 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 the clones or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> the, clones. the clones. You see them everywhere, man. You see them everywhere. They're all built the same. You know, yeah, they all the have clones. the same face, yeah. the same boob job, the same the butt same. job, yeah. Brazilian butt lip. The clones. Yeah, they clones. You yeah. call them the clones. I, I know a, a female YouTuber did a four, uh, 14 minute video she did, on. No, it was 40 minutes. 40 minute video yeah. on how. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was them. literally saying on how all women that get everything done look the same now. Like, there's no originality anymore. Like, like yeah. Yeah. Like, so, she's onto you, something. You get, you get yeah. Stan culture where it's like. Eminem made a reference to that on, on an uh, obsessed individual, a fanatic that, who was obsessed with but now, like, it's spread to entire communities. Like, you have a community uh -huh. of stands who worship these celebrities and these people, and any slight against them, any negative Report. Re uh, comment towards them, they will, they will pounce on you. Uh, they'll raid you. They will raid your channel. They will they, swat you. They will swat you. They will raid your YouTube. They will raid your Twitter. Report. Burn you to mass the report. Yeah. <laughs> Get you banned off of Twitch. And it's crazy, it's like man. like 4chan coming at you. Yeah, dude. It's like they, once they deleted 4chan, they opened Pandora's box. Once they, once they censored 4chan... They open Pandora's box. Now, wait, now all those people got to go somewhere. Now they got to go somewhere. Now you release these crazies out into the wild and they're going to yeah. find their counterparts and be like, oh, hey, oh, you're from 4chan. You're from Tumblr. You know, you're from uh, 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 Reddit, like old school Reddit. Yeah, they're going to find their You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going to band together and then they'll take over the internet. Yeah. Like, And they're already at that point. So it's like, now it's like it, it's not even just like one of it is woke culture but now it's like stand culture too i see what you're saying yeah. you see what i'm saying it's like it's the worship of uh people of people yeah it's, the, it worship it's the worship of people, of people or that, that's a weird thing yeah like, why would you that's what the internet has brought us worshiping there's, individuals there's a fine line between admiring somebody and worshiping somebody and being obsessed with them yeah like there's i think it is really healthy and i think it's very good to find somebody in life that you admire and kind of shape your life around them right you know? kind of right? like a role model a mentor. or something like yeah. that or a mentor yeah it's you know somebody you respect somebody who it's like you know i like how their life is i want my life to be like that yeah exactly you know i feel like that's fine but like once you start to like 
once you believe that they are a different species than you, yeah. that that's they, and they you know, represent your entire existence. demographic, that like, they're not just like you. They're not like you. You they separate them from yeah. You. It, it's you become it, it's it's you make scary, weird, right? dude. It's it's scary, and and that ties into the whole woke culture. Because it's that like and, and to and politicians, and, 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 to politicians yeah, right? And, and censorship, because yeah. essentially you can't even put up any content, or you have to be careful right. what you say now. Like, let's say I hate this actor's movie. All the stands of that actor oh, are gonna God. drag me to hell. <laughs> <laughs> they'll drag me to yeah. hell. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They'll they'll mass report my page. Or if you don't put Eminem in the top five, or in, in the top five. Over the little, the or, or, the, their, or their dumbest, their dumbest comment the is, smallest. their dumbest comment is, oh, that was the best song ever. You're trash. You don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Even trash, though seventy percent of the majority yeah. agree with you, they're like, nah, that was the best song yeah. ever. It's like yeah. you, you can have an album that you like, but there's always gonna be a song on there that you're not gonna yeah. like, and it's okay. Hey, there's nothing wrong with yeah. that. But you're trash because you, all his songs are great. Right. All her songs are great. We need a public apology. You know, you know what I feel. <laughs> like would have solved this problem i feel like these people never got on an xbox live game <laughs> <laughs> i feel like that would have shaped them up i feel but like I, that's and, and, where boys became men yeah right you know yeah right you you knew so if many you things acted up everybody was oh they flame you <laughs> you yeah. learned so many things about your yeah. mom you didn't even know <laughs> Or, Boy, or, I'm telling you, like <laughs> you just became numb to it. Yeah, you, you just you know became numb to it. But it's yeah, like you had to get that thick skin. Yeah. But it's like, it, but there's a cutoff for that. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 one one critique I'll have about that is it's like, okay, when we were growing up during that time, we were kids, right? So like, there's an expect yeah. <laughs> expectation of okay, your ideals will mature, but you still want to have the freedom to. Be able you to know, express. express what yeah. you really want to say. But not yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to yeah. be like, "Fuck you," you know, like <laughs> it, it, that was pretty tame. But, yeah, yeah. You know, but like now you gotta walk on eggshells with every little thing with that comes every, out your mouth because someone's gonna have a stand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even like freaking Twitch streamers have thousands of stands. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if Twitch streamer gets in a beef with another Twitch streamer and calls someone out, like. You'll have like a uh, uh, chat raids and shit. <laughs> like people are, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Yeah, or yeah that's, like that. that's insane. It's, like, it's yeah. insane, dude. People d- divulge that amount of time and energy. Bro, yeah, so they got time. It's insane. They got you know time. what I'm saying? That's so crazy. it's like I'll be on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And it's like uh, the the people in my group with like you know computer science, tech, NFTs, crypto, and stuff like that. Like they'll get into fights with each other, and I'm just like. I know. <laughs> what the why? hell? Why? You know what I I'm think, saying? I think it's a combination of a couple of things. I think, like, one of the things it is is, like, the way things are marketed, it's marketed towards, like, I'll give you an example, like Twilight, right? Yeah. Um, It was marketed as Team Edward or Team Jacob. Right. Yeah. right? You guys remember that? Right. Team that, Edward, Team that, Jacob. And that was That's a really facts. big That's a big thing. Like, strategy. Team Jacob, by the way. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I got that man laughing. But, like, but then it go it, it goes it, or like Apple, Microsoft, literally the legal battles, yeah. the lawsuits mm-hmm. going. At, like if you had a, a window, like if you had Apple or Android, it wasn't just the people. It was the way like it was marketed. It was like if you yeah. don't have this or like Sega, Nintendo, mm-hmm. yeah. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Yeah, yeah, and going back, and even what you said, because that just came to my head. Or PlayStation and I Xbox. Thought you, I thought you were bringing up like the whole Apple versus Android, but it before that it was Apple versus Microsoft. Remember yeah. when those two guys would walk on screen? Yeah, and then, like I'm Apple, Apple would be like I'm Microsoft. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, Microsoft would <laughs> be in a yeah, business. Yeah. I'm Mac. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Mac. Mac and yeah, I'm, that yeah. was a fire. Yeah, yeah. He, he'd be in a business suit, and then Apple was like some hippie guy or some shit like that, <laughs> and they shit. I'm like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is going Jesus. on? Yeah, man. man. And it, and and it's and it's permeated throughout everything. Yeah. In everything, politics, culture. You know, like it, it, and it's everywhere, and it's like, why, like, why is there, why can't there be nuance to just 
regular everyday ideas to independent thought and opinions and shit like that. You know what's another weird thing too? My brother brought this up to me. Uh, he's older than me. He's in uh, he's in his thirties, <laughs> um, and he goes. He's like, when I was younger, um, it was weird because like, like when I was younger, like your grandparents had a certain uh, viewpoint right. and you just of respected course. it. Yeah, yeah, you just respect. You right. never just questioned res- it. Right. You didn't come at them. You didn't attack them. It's just, you knew what they believed and you just, that is, it what, is what, what it is. It is what it That's is. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And Jason goes, he's like, now though, you are obligated to attack them and tell them about what they're thinking. They're is wrong. wrong. It's even yeah. in kids media now that too. Com- and I think that comes from colleges, universities. Right. I've seen so many times normal fucking kids, normal a lot of them females, normal fucking kids, where they grow up in either it'll be a, a Christian home or not even a Christian home, just like any type of home, right? They don't believe any of the stuff that normally most people believe when they go to universities. But then they go to the university for like one to two years and they come back completely, completely different people, different. Yep. completely different mindsets. Completely like different. they're angry, they're uh, spiteful, they're always trying to prove you wrong, mm-hmm. they're always trying to mm-hmm. like yeah. fix things in yeah. a in a PC way, political correct way. Not just that, it's, it's this belief that they masquerade with this sense of compassion and sense it's of like false compassion empathy, right. when really what's driving it is envy mm. ah, got you really got it's you. envy that's pushing you to do these things but you're you're bullshitting and saying that yeah. really i care about the planet or really i care about this this and that mm-hmm. it's like Could you, you don't like the poor you just hate the rich right exactly it's a difference it's a difference it's a difference do you think it's like like uh i don't not just virtue signaling but it's like that appearance you want to appear like this this good person you see what i'm saying because no one is truly good no you see what I'm no, no. Like, no no one is truly yin and yang yin and yang yeah, you see what i'm saying so like when we i all see got skeletons. yeah we all got some when i see these people caping on the internet bro just go to wayback machine <laughs> oh, there's, your <laughs> there's your tweet i got you you yeah, know what i'm saying like back. it's really that easy yeah, that's really. how you just expose these people just go to the wayback machine you'll find something <laughs> way back you see what machine. I'm saying? but that's also why like in understanding that too that's why we also have to like chill out when right. it comes to people like mm-hmm. This I think also the reason why where a lot of this stems from is the belief that people are good. That's the problem. I think that's, that's a major problem. problem, and I think that's we're seeing the problem. the problem with that. Because if you think that people are good, you think that inherent like to say that you're good. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's like, only one it, man who yeah. is truly good. You know, and that's I, Jesus Christ himself. And even if you don't believe right, that, right. nobody's good. Like, if he didn't no, exist, no one's no good. One's no good. one's good. No one's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's like, no not even good. Gandhi. Yeah. Gandhi's a human being just like you and I mm-hmm. was. And even Gandhi would be the first one to tell you that I'm no better than I'm you no better, are. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But, like, for some reason, we've got this belief that we're actually good. And, like, we're the good guy. I think it's a lot of, like, superhero movies or Disney movies where there's, like, there's a good person and they're only good. Nah. They have no bad no part about bad them. Bar and about I think them. that's and why... They, yeah, well, sorry for interrupting, but I think that's why in the, the, the film Man of Steel, why so many fanboys were so upset when Superman popped Zod's neck. Zod's because neck. Because they're like, he's right. a Boy Scout. He's all good. He never killed. And, it's like, and like, I feel like Bitch, how many times Zach does he fly Snyder's into a building? Right. Yeah. <laughs> how many Billions. Yes, let's empty Billions. it first before I go through it. Come you on, man. Got out there but you're mad that he killed an alien, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even human. <laughs> oh man, that's nuts. Yep. But so. it's like, but it, 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 it and, and and that's what it does. It traps these, and and I'll even say this with the celebrities because it's like you put this outward appearance of you being this all good, and it's like. Now people are going to worship you and hold you to that standard. standard so yeah. you can't make it. And look what happened with Will Smith. That was the perfect example. They held him Dude, to a higher yes. standard. And then when he started yeah. breaking, when, I mean, even when he's finally showing how human he, he is, is no, they, like they reject him. Yes. They, they like shit it. on him. Yep. And it's like, what did you expect? What did you expect? He's human. You thought he was going to be, I am legend. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm 24 saying. seven. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. Like that's not how that works. And it's like, and it's sad. And, and then they'll throw out, well, he's a role model. And it's like, what are you doing? You see what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's, 
it's like, okay, I'm a bad person. He's good, so he will die. He he will die on whatever uh, 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 stage for whatever bad thing I believe in, and I'll persecute him for that when I believe those things yeah. in, in, in behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, it, when I see this, this, and I'll call it faux outrage. When I see this outrage, it's like, where does it stem from? Because the, in, in your pursuit for all good and all righteousness, you're going after people. You're saying evil shit. And like, it'll get to the point where, well, you don't believe in the goodness of this person. You deserve to die. What is going on? Like, I think where's the disconnect there? And I, I think the like, it's a weird thing. Like, I'll, I'll bring up this one verse, and I think it's it's a really uh, important verse with just, like, life itself. Like, there was a, a point where Jesus, there was a prostitute. Not a prostitute, but, like, she got caught cheating, mm-hmm. right? And under the Mosaic Law, you were supposed to stone her, all right? So the Pharisees come up to Jesus, and they're trying to put him in the spot. They're trying to be like, well, <clears throat> they try to put him in a spot saying, like, well, this is what the law says, and you're supposed to be God, so you're supposed to follow this law. So, and even though you do follow the law, everybody's going to see you murder this woman. Mm-hmm. So people are going to look at you weird. Either way, you go about it. You go about it, right? But, so instead of choosing either of the options, he goes, let him who has no sin cast the first, first stone. Yes, sir. What was interesting was the oldest people walked away first. The youngest people walked away last. Last. Ooh. Damn. That's crazy. So, w- the one thing I took from that was, like, the difference in mindset on judgment with people. Yeah. Because I think, and I think that that's, like, a really important thing about, like, just religion itself, is I feel like religion humbles people. Yes. It teaches people to realize that, at the end of the day, you are not who you think you are. If you if you have an ego, you're not who you think yeah. you are. And if you uh, don't have any type of ego, you're more than who you think you are. Uh, it gives you a sense of... Um, in the best way, like, it humbles you more than anything else. Right. Because at the end of the day, you realize that, like, holy shit, like, I do all these <clears throat> awful things. It forces you to look at a mirror. So it's like... Before I attack this person, like, I got to think about all the things I did. And if I did something even remotely similar, then it's like, well, I can't really say anything about it. I have to, I can say something about it, but I have to go about it in a different way, in a loving way. In a loving way. Where it's like, look, I know that I do this too, and I'm at fault, but it's like, I know where this is going to end for both of us if we continue doing this. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm I'm trying my best to stop. Like, I just want you to know that, like, if you continue going down this, this is where we're going to end up. Dang, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a different... Yeah, yeah. It's it's the same message, but it's it's different. And it, I feel like that kind of message actually gets people to change. Yeah. Because That's then, right. like, people... My dad said this to me, I'll never forget it. People don't care about what you say unless they know that you care about them. That's right. Like, you can say anything to anybody, and if they don't think that you give two shits about them, they're not going to listen to what you're saying. They're not going to listen to what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, can you blame them? Yeah. Right. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts. Yeah, yeah man. But it's, 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 it's weird, man. And it's like, we have, the, we have the internet, and we're just stuck with it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, how do you... How do you condition society to like disconnect from that shit pull a surrogate you saw that's trash <laughs> I, it's, it's the, that's it's the so movie trash. it's the movie i hate that oh man the, the concept the idea of i think we're kind of already starting that <clears throat> how so there's a there's a trend that's starting of a lot of young people are throwing away their smartphones and they're only using uh flip phones Oh wow! Uh, so, in their minds, <clears throat> a flip phone can still do everything that you need in society. Because mm-hmm. really, all you need to text and call people. Right. If you could do that. You don't really need any of the other stuff on your phone. No. To do even mm-hmm. to to work in six figure jobs, you don't need all that no. stuff. No. Um, so a lot of these young people have started this way where they just use flip phones because they're tired of uh, spending the amount of time that they were spending on a phone. And because they only use flip phones, they don't really use TV anymore. They don't right. really use 
Yeah, yeah, because they have the, the, the subscription apps. Right. Once you get rid of the main source, the other right. things aren't really as appealing anymore. Right. You can separate your time for other things. So I, I do think that, uh, at least with the younger generation, I think there's a push against it. Because I don't think a lot of young people, I feel like... There's hope with the young people right now, bro. They feel like they're stuck in a box. Yeah, they're in a box. Yeah. They're in a box. And this box was here before them, and... And and it sucks because it's like the way the the trajectory the world is headed in. It's like we're putting all our faith on the younger generation. Yep. And that's that's not a burden. You want to you know what I'm saying? You, you want to the kid. passing just the, like the, the boomers buck, the boomers you know did with the uh, uh, millennials. Right. You just keep <clears throat> passing the buck. Like notice how the world leaders continue to get older with their generation. You see what I'm saying? That's right. A lot of them have been there for like 50, 60, 50, 60 years. years. Like, what they the get older with the generation who's keeping them in their positions, voting them in, who hold most of the power, who hold most of the weight and the money and the finance, yeah. you know, in the world. And it's like, you know. Which is why when the vaccine did come out for the vid, who, who did they get? Who who got it first? The older the generation. The older generation. Even though, because the, the the one thing I was I told my brother is, well, why wouldn't they give it to younger generations? And then he gave me a couple examples: risk management. But then again, too, that's your base. That's your base. That's, that's your who's fu- putting that's the you future. in the power. Exactly. And then on top of that, he said, well, you have the majority of the older generation. So the older generation is who votes. Is the older generation who's who owns most of the wealth. Yep, who all that stuff. Like that. So that's why they put them first, even though they've lived their lives. All right compared to the young which is why social security was built for that generation yep, not for us not for anyone else nope. you see what i'm saying we're it will way, only benefit them until we're, we're living way too long you see what i'm saying we're, we're li- one we're living way longer you yeah. think <laughs> Come on. yeah because wasn't social security set up for like the age the normal age of death was like 60 yeah no it's when a, it like was first set mm-hmm. up no it's 65 and because not many people live to that age it's <laughs> it only a select fine. few right it worked fine you see what i'm saying but now older people are living longer. There's medicines advancing. You know what I'm saying? There's technology. Technology is advancing. They're they're on the cusp of cures for uh, 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 HIV AIDS. They're on the cusp, especially with this whole mRNA thing. They're you know, really going to cure it. I mean, I would say they do have it. It's just they can't profit off of it. They, yeah. I feel like they've had it for a minute. They've, bro. Well, well, look at Magic Johnson. Come on. Come <laughs> Magic Johnson died a long time ago. Magic Johnson living in the world. He had full blown AIDS and he's still alive. Not HIV. He had full blown AIDS and he's still alive. What the hell? Yeah, Kicking, that's breathing. Yeah. That's wild, Come on. man. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's how they make a profit out of it. If they can't make money off of it, they're not going to they're not gonna bring it out. Or they're going to take their time. Or uh, they come out with that pill, that commercial that they kept playing on YouTube. Oh, the pill that prevents you from passing on HIV. Right. Come on. Yeah. They do have it. They just don't want to. Oh yeah. If mm-hmm. if you, it'll it'll get it'll get your readings to like zero point one percent. Yeah. Like you'll still have the virus. Yeah. But like it'll be like. So they'll tell you to still use protect. Yeah, they'll tell you to still use protection, but it's zero point one percent. So like I said, they have it. They so just, you're still giving it to people. Yeah, if you. So uh, that don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like it's like shit like that where I'm watching videos now and it's like now um like all right, but it, it's yeah. It, <laughs> He's like, no, nah, we're not going down. That I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> But it, it, it's it's just that, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, why do we have to put the responsibility of that? Like, bro, we've literally been watching Lake Mead dry up for the past five, six years. It's at its lowest levels in history. Lake what? Lake Mead. Oh, bro, you got to see this. This is wild. Is it? So. Lake Mead. So we're running out of fresh water. Of course we are. Let's go live in the mountains. Water level. I wouldn't be opposed to it. And the craziest yeah. thing ever is, while the 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 water levels have been dropping, they've been finding like dead bones and shit. Oh, so you've, yes. been, so you've been drinking dead people. So. Oh wow! It was wow, okay. that dropped. Yep, it was. Wait, what? Where was that image? Uh, that really dropped. Here we go. 
Where's this located? At? November two thousand. Holy shit! This is shit. June twenty twenty one. So it's only been. And we're losing water. Yes, my guy. This is gonna affect agriculture for, for uh, uh, uh populations in the deserts. Recession. Um. Uh, the, so the way they control their water consumption, it's kind of like a bank. Okay. So you can take out a loan for water. What? Yes. So you have a certain amount of water you can use annually. You can take water. Look like, at David looking at you like you're crazy. <laughs> you can Stop take it. your 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 whatever city Hold or right there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much what's been happening. You understand the concept. You can. Loan water in advance. You can take an advance of water, but you have to replenish. It has to be. Replenished. And how can you do that? And we've. Uh, you, know, you know what the next step is to do with air. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gonna We're gonna put the Lorax. The Lorax. Canned air. Stupider. The dumbest shit I ever heard. Really. <laughs> Really? Yep, I told you. We are heading there. Canned <laughs> oh, air. Man. This is wild, man. Like, and they've been taking it, yeah. more water than can be replenished, and now we're in a drought. Now we're in a drought. What if these motherfuckers just stole the water? And hit it? <laughs> and Which is like, probably what they're doing. What's like, going to be nuts is when I see someone go to jail for stealing fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I know... It's time to pack it up, bro. Like Let's go water. to the bunker. Yep. We're fighting over fresh water. Yep. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Resources. Resources. It's like and, um, Water World, where there was water. salt water everywhere. There was salt yep. water everywhere. Yep. There was no fresh water. Yep. Yeah, man. So it's like you see what's happening, like, like ecologically. You see what I'm saying? Like, look at what is happening. Famine in Sri Lanka. You know what I'm saying? Dude, Sri Lanka was insane. Sri Lanka is getting hyped right now. Damn. You see what I'm saying? Insane. So it's like, what happens next? And this is what these kids have to deal with. When they get older. Yeah. When they get older. Not only are they not retiring, but they got We were swimming in Lake Mead for years, generations. Now people won't even know. They'll call it Mead Valley now. Yeah, that's true. It'll be Mead like, Valley Like the now. Grand Canyon. Like the Grand Canyon. All of that was underwater at some point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're not getting it back. Yeah. Ice caps are melting. We're not getting that back. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so now these kids have to deal with these uh, 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 mass food shortages. You see what I'm saying? Mass food shortages, grain and sugar and stuff like that. Agriculture is going to be affected. What happens next? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you, you have the Thwaites Glacier. That's expected to melt by 2035. That'll raise sea levels 10 meters. 10 meters. Go to Fort Myers Beach. There's a couple uh, hotels on the water. About five, six years ago, yeah. the shore was about, I'd say, 800 yards away. Now it's literally washing That's why they're up starting to build seawalls. On their, yeah. on their doorstep. Why do you think seawalls uh, businesses are blowing up blowing in Florida? Up. Yeah, because they're rebuilding. Because mm. uh, uh, I had, had a stock clerk named David. That was his his father does build seawalls. Sea that's, that's, that's a all. booming business yeah, in Florida now. Is. Building seawalls to protect people's beach homes and property. Yep. To protect businesses who are out on the water and the keys and, and stuff like that. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like this shit is happening now. Like this is the shit I used to see back when I was in grade school and they were showing us a Bill Nye the Science Guy Video. episode. Yeah. And he was talking about global warming. You know what I'm saying? But it's not real. And yet. they're showing us these cinematic super powerful storms wildfires everywhere mm -hmm. sea levels rise droughts da 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 famine and now i'm literally watching it yeah they predicted our future and nothing was done about it because it was like we'll just pass it on we still got more money to make off of oil we still got more money to make on exploiting uh, uh land and shit like that you know what's funny about global warming do you know where the term carbon footprints come from you know who created that term? Was it the guy who did the Inconvenient Truth? It was an... I, no, it's, no. It's, if it's what's, the, what's the green oil company? The Green Star? Uh, Exxon. No. Uh, BP. It was BP or Exxon. One of them actually came BP. up with that. BP. BP. Uh, kind of like the whole carbon neutral. So this is this is the weird thing about global warming. So now, I don't... Like, I definitely agree with you with everything that you said with that. And mm -hmm. it's... 
That's honestly the person. <laughs> That's just tragic, yeah. man. This is tragic. But this is the weird thing about global warming, right? So, especially with, like, carbon footprints, right? Mm-hmm. So, that term was coined and created by an oil company, one of the biggest oil companies out there. Yeah. Right? So, not only did they come up with that term, they came up with a system on how you can tell how you yourself and your friends and neighbors are, like, how to track their carbon footprints. Mm-hmm. So, think about it, boys. Instead of you blaming the people who should be at most blamed for these mm-hmm. things oil companies mm-hmm. we all each other. bitch at each other yeah, yeah. It was like taylor, taylor swift. swift yo the whole internet like, railed oh on my her. god be in mind her, her car there are like huge. high level officials country leaders and stuff like in these companies burning metric tons of gas and they're Taylor. watching taylor how many trips taylor swift takes on her private jet you took three <laughs> trips on your private jet and, they were, and then they're reading these twitter they're, they're reading they're reading these comments on youtube and online and i'm like damn you really have no these time for losing their minds. yes over carbon we're footprints like who minds. are you not only that the world economic forum 13 days ago swear to god they literally came out and said that they want to get rid of private ownership for vehicles for vehicles yes you Ooh. know why to get rid of fucking carbon footprint carbon footprint Ooh, and new but york it, new york just passed and it's them. it's just like this is my thing bro right okay i understand that there's a lot of things that i do that do cause that right yeah. i can admit that but don't sit here and try to tell me that I am doing anywhere near the damage <laughs> that a fucking oil oh. company or any of these people who have private jets yeah. fly. Just one private jet, one bro. Private jet. Yeah. All of that shit going into the sky. Yep. My car, like, Bruh. me going to work, bro? Like, that's how they get you, yeah. man. Nah, yeah, that's, that's how, how they, they keep you. their hands clean. They're like, it's your neighbor. Yep. Fuck you. I'm your not buying neighbors. Tesla. Let's let's mis- you let's misdirect it. Yeah, yeah mislead let's, them. Let's mislead attack them. your neighbor. Don't attack us. Yeah. Attack so it's like, neighbor. notice how now we can't even fix the problem, right? No, no it's because too late. Too late. we have because beforehand I used to be the person who didn't believe in global warming whatsoever, and I didn't believe in global warming not because of any type of evidence but specifically because of shit like that mm-hmm. yeah. when it came to the oil companies right. and all of that shit that's why i instantly looked at global warming and i'm like this is just the greatest scam in history oh yeah Earth. oh yeah but then i see things like this and i'm like okay there's definitely 100 percent like this is a crisis but the thing is the people who are telling us and the people who are screaming about the crisis the most seem to also be the people who are contributing, contributing the, the most, most. Yes. to it yeah so yes, it's sir. like we can't even yes, group sir. together and figure out okay how can we actually solve this problem instead of just trying to figure out how you guys can make more money off of this problem yeah they don't care because they're I'm all going you. to mars there's gonna be a fight <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're all going, they're going, to, mars. All going to Mars. yep that's fact they're going to mars or they're going underground or they're or going underground or they're gonna fight over antarctica maybe not in our lifetime but why do you think antarctica is so off limits you've seen that giant ice wall mm-hmm. that literally spans throughout it doesn't end. It doesn't end. Also, the, there's a treaty signed by 169 nations right after World War II that nobody can go to Antarctica. Antarctica. No one. That's Why? Wow. Why? It's the middle. It's nothing, <laughs> right? Why? Hollow what's, Earth. What's behind there? That's See, dude, true. I don't even know. You know what? Maybe because yeah. the thing is, like, why are they blocking it off? Why, why? are they blocking it's it off? It's just a bunch of ice. You don't. But they you'll don't get, give a shit if people die out uh, there. Uh, uh, again, too, they you'll don't. get shot down if you even try to figure that out. Yeah, why? But here's the thing, too. That's free territory. Once all this ice, because before you know, continental drift and all that shit, Antarctica used to be a, the lush Greenland with forests and shit like that, and blah blah blah. Or you know, that's just the scientific explanation. Or there's some type of resource or some shit in here. That there's something there. There's, something, yeah, there's there. something there. There's something there. There's something there. You don't have all of that. I mean, like, it's Guarding the only, and it's the only there, place yeah. that no one can go to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's fact. It's the only place in the world that absolutely yeah. nobody can go to. Yeah, I think military will escort you out. Or shoot ships, you down. Or shoot you down. Probably just shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no evidence. We're good. Yeah, yeah man. Just sink your boat. No one's going to know. So it's like, regardless if global warming was caused by us or it's just the natural carbon cycle of the earth, something is happening. Shit yes. is changing. Yes. So we can't ignore that. You yes, see what I'm saying? I definitely agree with you, yeah. Fuck what the cause is, because it's too late if we... Yeah, if, we if can't there fix was, it. If there it's was a prevention late. for it, 
Yeah, let's move on from that. Well, but this is the thing, though, right? Let's say, because, like, this is such a dicey problem that we can't just come up with a solution and then it not work. And then not work. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, you don't you get what I'm put saying? too much money Because, like, this is the thing. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. So, the way, what I've seen the way life works is, literally, like, even if you had good intentions, if you implement everybody to do something right it could have the most disastrous consequences yes. and it could fuck up people's lives in so many yes. ways that you had absolutely no way of knowing beforehand That's so the right. thing is and that seems to happen pretty much constantly throughout history of right. just little changes that people do so the thing is like this like the way that we combat this is it in a way that we're destroying more lives than we're saving or is it actually in a way that we're actually trying to genuinely Save fix the problem? And yeah, can problem. anyone benefit? Can everyone benefit from that solution? But that's that, the thing too. That's the Who's thing benefiting too. Who's from benefit the solution, from and how much are they benefiting? Of course, from of course it's not going to be the little people and benefiting it's not from it. Be it's the not, guy. Unfortunately, exactly. that's what it is. Exactly, the little people are the end user, and they are going to be the ones to suffer the most. Those who don't have access yeah. to the information. And the, and the technology that they're using to do that shit. Of course, you see what I'm saying? Because it's like. Notice how all of this is happening and you see a lot of the major powers consolidating the resources to themselves. You see what I'm saying? Which is why we haven't tapped into our oil reserves. Mm -hmm. We're buying it off of everyone. Because yeah. we know there's going to be a point in time where... They're not going to have any more oil. They're not going to have yeah. any more oil. You know what I think? Another thing that I feel like they're doing when it comes to this whole the, uh, the global warming thing. Look up the uh, glass wall in Saudi Arabia. There's this giant, like, nine-mile-long just line of, like, a massive city they're going to build. Oh, I know what you're, you're talking, talking about. that stupid line. line. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the the line. Look at that. There it is. The right line. there. That's yeah. the line. Right there. That's nuts. So, this is my thing. Right? <laughs> Why? No, okay, so hear me out. Hear me out. This is what I think's going on. So, the World Economic Forum, one thing that they're trying to accomplish is, like... You can call me conspiracy theorists for this, but, like, these motherfuckers are genuinely trying to control everything. They oh, want to yeah. own all land, all water, all resources, all minerals, all people, everything. So, but I think this is what's going on, right? That's crazy. How do you control everything, right? How do you control everybody's resources, everything without people fucking with you? Keep people up. Not just that, you scare the fuck you out of them. Scare, oh, that's you scared? Oh, that's You get everybody that's so nice. afraid of the outside Fear. world... And yeah. then you get them to, like, you get people to Fear is want control. to be into things in like this, that. Yeah. So you make you it look get, nice Like uh shiny. Like um, um, Matt Damon in Elysium. Elysium. I was going to say, this is some Elysium yeah. shit. But think yeah. about it, right? Yeah. If you can get pretty much the entire population into one concentrated area... Everywhere else is a playground. For yeah, you. right. That's true. Nobody's gonna do anything. Oh, they, nobody they can can't, stop you. They can't stop you. You're stuck there. They're too there. afraid to leave the right. goddamn thing. Right. Yeah. So that's what I feel like. This is like. This is where we're headed. We're going yeah. to. That's where we're headed. Jeez. That's, that's why crazy. you hear all these things talk about like green cities or. Yeah. Or like, it's, I just. And then they show you these hyper futuristic building and and stuff like that, and it's like. That's that's bullshit. that's nuts. Yeah, that's nuts. That's man. nuts. But I mean, like, dude, who would want to live in a goddamn line? That's weird. That's a line. Unless it's for the next generation. It's gonna be exclusive. Yeah. I I I can already tell. I can. No, they want to fit. Like, hold on, look up, look up how many people they population. want to fit. There. Yeah. Unless they want, cool. unless it's like Love Death Robots, where the 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 millionaires can only afford that, but the billionaires oh, and yeah. trillions can afford the moon and then of course the, <laughs> the, 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 the quadrillionaires <laughs> Mars. Mars. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh man that's it and that's then we plebs stay on the earth yep. oh, bro. In a, in a yeah, good luck guys that's we're in a glass nuts, line that's man how Isn't much that just I mean? the stupidest thing you've ever seen oh okay so wait it should have like population Estimated what building estimated cost at Look at the how US. they're trying to make it sound good. Okay. The so it's expected to have 9 million residents. 9 million people. 110 miles across. Because it's all condensed, like, living. Like, some some instances, you will never even touch the ground. 
Like you can walk across. All buildings are oh, interconnected. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay. All the buildings are interconnected. So if you die, that's it. Right. <laughs> They'll probably put like some high speed train. If you want to escape, you gotta <laughs> jump on the high speed train. <laughs> oh man. Eighty twenty month. And it's only gonna cost them seven uh, two hundred up to two hundred billion dollars. That's nuts. That's mean as high as one trillion. That's nuts. That's what happens when you have, like, you know, what do you call it? Oligarchies and shit yeah. like that. You could just sh- sh- sign shit away. <laughs> just sign right. it away, eh? You know what I'm saying? It's your money to play with, technically. Yeah. No, but I think that thing's insane. That's insane, man. So, David, what's this we hear about Wiki trying to change the word recession? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wiki literally changed. That's, that's crazy. Because the definition of a recession is in two quarters, uh, it goes down, right? Mm-hmm. So in two consecutive quarters, uh, your GDP goes down. If that happens, you're in a recession. Yeah, recession. And they actually change the definition. And they're trying to say that we're not in a recession. <laughs> That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it seem Oh, wow. Like I clicked on the wiki and it took me to... All right, hold on. Let me, let me click on that. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> He's about to read, guys. We're going to read this. Get ready. Let's let's see what this is. And they limited the amount of people. Oh, they increased the steps you have to take to uh, uh, be an editor on on Wikipedia. Okay, so not anybody can just change whatever. Right. So in economics, a recession is a business cycle contraction when there's a general decline in economic activity. I love how they use general. (laughs) 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 I love how they just threw that in there. Recessions generally occur, there it goes again, generally occur when there was a widespread drop in spending and adverse demand shock. This may be triggered by various events such as a financial crisis, an external trade shock, an adverse supply shock, the bursting of an economic bubble, or large-scale anthropogenic or natural disaster. So where do we start with that, man? Well, we have to acknowledge that we're in a recession. Yeah. That's the thing. We are. But because the president says we're not, a lot of people, most, think that we're not. Because he, he can't... Because his image, his image is already as... I didn't. I don't think it can get any worse. Well, you know? <laughs> it's just so bad that, like, now they just got a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, nothing... Yeah. Everything he touches at this point is literally turning into flames, especially with the, <laughs> the, the sun incident that came. Like all, it, it's all coming down. It's all coming. And he so still wants to run twenty twenty four, bro. Even Democrats are telling him. That. I don't think he's. Even Democrats he's are telling him, "Don't that. run." They're like, "Bro, you're gonna die in office. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna die, his, bro. You know how they do the the presidential parade? It's literally gonna be them in his casket." <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? It'll be his casket down oh, Pennsylvania dude. Avenue. Oh, like, come God. on, man. Jeez. What is going on, bro? Like, this is this is a joke. <laughs> this is a joke, man. Damn. And it's, it's like, like it feels like our country's become man. It's just a fucking yeah. Joke. But like, what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, they have such a big foot. Yeah. It. it ooh, prime example, right? I don't condone what happened January 6th at the Capitol, but there were some instances, uh, there was an instance where they were interviewing one of the the Capitol police and and people who worked in there. And he said, we were, I would say, about 15 minutes away from a massacre. Wow. He said that himself. So if he had to choose between letting the people in or, and, and or killing all of them, or killing all of them, and he said it would have been a massacre if they got into, you know, the the, the main uh, uh, hall. You see know what I'm saying? Like, do you understand how easy at the drop of a hat he can he can just yeah. everything would have went down? Yeah, we would have seen a massacre of American civilians, regardless of. What they were doing, it then, doesn't then even shit would have shot Americans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then the shit would really would Do went you down in this entire how, country. And then that stuck with me, because I'm like, when shit hit hits the fan, they are willing to drop bodies to save themselves. Yeah. yeah. 
You yeah. see what I'm saying? And it literally would have been the American people versus and the government. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like, what can you really do? What can you really do? Yeah. Well, think about it. I think... <clears throat> I think the only way to do something about it is you have to get everybody unified. Because if you think about it like this, let's take COVID, for example, right? Mm -hmm. COVID, when it came to any of the restrictions, any of the lockdowns, any of the rules that they made, notice how the police weren't out in the streets enforcing us to do that shit? No. No. Who was it? It was our neighbors. It was the the grocery store people. It was our Mm -hmm. boss. Mm -hmm. It was our friends, Mm -hmm. family. Yeah, companies. You know? You go into your uh, your grandma's house and she's freaking out and you have to wear a mask. You know what I mean? It's like right. we were policing each other. Right? Yeah. We were making... Like, we were holding each other accountable. Right. And that really made me realize something that genuinely no government really has the power. Like, yeah, you have uh, airstrikes and you have you nukes. You have the military. It's yeah. like, yeah, you have airstrikes and you have nukes. But at the end of the day, if you just end up killing everybody... Number one, you're not going to have those nukes and you're not going to have those resources because you're not going to have truckers. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have people to work in supply chains. Nope. If you just end up killing them all, if you destroy their hope where there's no point, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter how big of a gun you have. Mm-hmm. If you push people to a certain point, it's not going to matter. But, so, how, but what makes it easier for them to do that is they separate us. They separate. And yep. That's, yep. separate. That is the only, and that that's what I feel like is just like the key thing we're missing. Like it's, the it's, only yeah. thing that is stopping us from actually fixing things and making things better is to stop bickering and fighting with each other and realize what the fuck these people are doing. Right. Yeah. We're playing into their whatever they're we're being game. played. We're being played. We're yeah. all puppets. We're Chess all puppets. pieces on the board. You see what I'm saying? And so it's, it's like, like another. Oh, go, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And this was, this was probably, like, one of the hardest things for me to learn. I remember, um, there's a verse in the Bible, and Paul was talking about the, uh, he was talking to Jews and Gentiles. I don't remember if he was in Rome when he was saying this. But essentially the verse was, he was talking about how uh, your battle is not with people. Like, we do not war against the flesh. We war against yeah. principalities, uh, powers that be in the air. And that was interesting to me because like I never really understood that until I got older because I saw this one video and it was beautiful. It was these pigs in these suits and they were just eating up all this food, right? There was these little cats that were kittens and they had, they were like starving. They were supposed to represent the people. The pigs were supposed to represent the fat cats. Yeah. Yeah. But this was interesting. One of the cats went under the, uh, went under the table and noticed that all those politicians were chained up. And they were chained up to this chain, and it was a snake. Uh... And what happened was the cat eventually, like, they all ran out of food, the pigs. So then eventually when everything went to shit, the cat turned into a tiger. And then started attacking the pigs. But the pigs are chained up. They can't do anything. So that's what made me realize that, like, look, at the end of the day, this isn't a person problem. No. There's something deeper behind this. Yeah. Deeper. yeah. There's some like at the end of the day, like there's an intrinsic like evil force behind each human being. It's not the person itself. Like what, there is a force. What drives them to do what they do? I would say, so. My closest belief to that is uh, the adversary that the Bible would call Satan, the mm, devil, the sin devil. itself. Sin itself, because we are born into it, right? And it's, what's, like, really interesting, like, about that is, like, that was, like, really big to me, though. Because, like, Paul was telling me that, like, look, even though you look at these people as evil, and even though these people are evil, just like you are, Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you have to realize, like, the force uh, and the compromise situation that they're in. And, like, if you were in their situation, you really think you'd be doing better than them? Like, you really yeah, think you would... That's, right. that's true. That's, that's right. the thing. Like, if you were put in their shoes, you really think you would do better than them? No. Like, you think you would be more morally superior than I them? No. No. It's, I don't think so. And that was a big thing for me to understand, because it's like, whoa, it's easy for me to make these claims and be like, why well, wouldn't do that? Mm-hmm. But it's like, if I were put in their shoes and, like, having to deal with the things that they had to deal with, it's like, would I really? Right. You know? That's nice. Yeah. yeah. That makes that's, sense. Yeah, man. So, like, think about that. That's that's a scary thought. Because it's like... That's... It's like... 
you, you wouldn't bat an eye when what was it? You wouldn't bat an eye when someone kills your enemy or something like that. But it was like a it was like a proverbs uh, during uh, a, a lot of uh, people who were against um, the the, <clears throat> the massacring of the Jews, mm. where they were like the Holocaust. Yeah, the Holocaust. And they'll come for your neighbors, and no one will speak for them. They'll come for your enemies, and no one will speak for them. And then they'll uh, come for you, and no one will speak for you. Mm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. no one will right. speak for you. Yeah. Because you didn't speak for anybody, you didn't else. Speak for anybody, anybody else. else. And that's why, you know again, saying? with the trolley problem, why we said it's you're not like saying nothing. You saying nothing, you doing nothing. It's, it's still same, an answer. Is you're, you're still complicit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like that's how they get you and and they and now that we have a lot of these politicians who especially the younger ones who understand how it works up there but they understand how these kids think they understand how we as a society the younger generation think and how we use the internet and they can infiltrate those ideologies yep, in there which they're doing you see what i'm saying which they're they doing. can infiltrate those ideologies in there and, and and it's not even just okay you know like it, it, it it, it's not just okay get away from the people who believe that it's like it's in your everyday life yeah we humans it. want and because we want we will you know like yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> we want like period so we consume we, yeah. we consume we're yeah. we're in an age where like i believe capitalism is dead we're just consumers this is consumerism mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying capitalism is dead we're just consumers uh, uh, and and like we put all of our faith in these mega corporations to provide us with happiness and a good way of life. Yep. And we and to go against that is an inconvenience. The latest and, and greatest. Us, right. You see what I'm saying? It'll bring us in, uh, uh, put us in a in a place where it's not what we believe is true happiness. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is a weird thing about. Tell me what you guys think about this. So like, happiness, I think. It's a for, dream. I think it's such a stupid thing to strive for. It's a dream. Personally. I think it's, it's, it, it is no different than the wind itself. Right. It's yeah. here one day, it's gone the next. It's yeah, gone the course. next, yes sir. Um, and it's like, like, what, I think what made me get, get to that point of thinking was, like, before my father passed away, I used to think that, like, the best thing in life was to achieve happiness, to get my goals and to just get what i wanted mm -hmm. right i thought it was all selfish gain mm. right then once like that incident happens then it's like oh shit right. you know what i mean it's like things uh change after that you uh, don't matter as much yeah i think like you start like everybody goes through a point where it's like you really realize like what actually matters and like what actually yeah. like doesn't matter that's right, right. and it just um i kind of lost train with where i was going with that but but yeah yeah i understand i understand man it's 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 hard it's it's a hard balance happiness is not a realistic goal it is is how i look at it if you're striving for it i mean you'll find temporariness and whether it be materialistic whether it be uh, mental physical emotional but at the end of the day it, you it, it's not consistent you, you no. can't keep it going forever and ever and ever it's something that's gonna right. event that's why people consistently try to find new things to do so they can maintain that happiness but you can find yeah. happiness in spirituality and empathy yeah that's you know where i was going with right that. yeah it, um, it, yeah for like for us it, it, for me personally i don't know about you but for me, it's fulfilling when I make somebody smile or happy or, or yeah. do something good. Knowing, not for myself, but knowing that that person has a smile on their face. Right. I always say this. I'm not happy unless you're smiling. Right. Or I'm not happy unless Everyone you're happy. always ask me, Jeff, why are you always happy when you're da-da-da? It's because I'm in the presence of other people that I care about. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I'm, I'm not here for the judgment. I'm not here for the materialistic things. No, no. You know, things like that. I'm not here to put on a, a face or a facade. For other people i'm just genuinely glad that there's another living breathing human next to me and they're experiencing this life with me yeah. and though their experience is completely different we still we still share the commonality of that we are living this life and we get to experience individual things and enlighten each other yeah and, yeah. and and that's where i find you know my happiness i'm not happy all the time no and that's I'm why that's why it's weird because when i'm at work and they're like jeff what's wrong 
because they're so used to seeing me happy. And I was like, at the end of the day, I am still human being. I, I, like, bro, I have my days. Yeah, I have exactly. my days. Like, <laughs> let, let, <laughs> let, yeah, let me be sad, yeah. upset, depressed, whatever. It's yeah. just like uh, you know being happy 24-7 isn't realistic. And it's for almost, people, that's almost toxic. It's fanatic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it comes exactly. across as fake. Yes. Yeah. Right. It comes across as very genuine because, like, like I think, like, what, what's more, like, take any YouTuber, for example, right? That's like instantly what I think of. Like somebody who's happy twenty four seven. I think of a YouTuber right. who, like, anytime they post a video, it's like they're having just the best time, mm-hmm. and it's so forced. Yes. You can hear it in the yeah. tone, yeah. in their yeah. face. They just look mm-hmm. crazy, and it's just like, how long can you keep this up? You can literally see them crying inside. Inside. A little yes. bit. Yeah. You know, you can see it killing part of their soul, yeah. and it's just like, really, that's what you want, yeah, man. Yeah. It's like it. It becomes a fanatic thing. So I think that, like, when it comes to life, like how you guys said. Like, I would call it meaning. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I would say that we're all talking about the same thing. Yeah. Like, your guys' meaning is your relationships with other individuals in yes. your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to find something other than, like, honestly, outside of relationships, I don't think you can find something more meaningful. More meaningful. Whether right. it's your relationship with God, whether it's people, there's, it's, because life, is, I've said this before, but, like, life isn't about, uh, Life isn't about matter; it's about what matters. It's what yeah. matters. There you go, sir. You know, like yes, sir. Relationships are another. It's just a weird thing too. Like the fact that, um, it's like with people. Like you take animals, right? Mm-hmm. Like animals have relationships, but they don't have anything close to similar to what we have. Well, we yeah, have. of course. You right. Know what I mean? Right. There's there's no comparison. Even monkeys. There's absolutely no comparison of what you and me are doing right now. What we've been doing for the past hour, mm-hmm. nothing's like us. No. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. You're right. Nothing. You're right. Not at all. And it's it's a weird thing. It's like we we have this rare experience where like we get to have experience with being itself, with other beings itself, mm-hmm. and we get to experience like life, and we get to decide how we want that experience to be. Yeah. Obviously, there's things outside of our control, but mentally you can control mentally how you view of course yeah definitely right Right. that's facts i agree that's facts yeah man it was like uh the other day when i was talking with jeff and this is kind of off topic off topic but i I was like don't remember me like especially with like old friends friends that i haven't seen in five years in five years or more i'm like do not remember me because the person you remember is not who i am today yeah and you have that expectation that I'll still be that. That I'll still be that. Yeah. But it's that's unfair. And that's unfair. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Accept me and understand me for who I am today. Today, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Now, Not who, who I was. Who you knew? Yeah. Who five you knew. years ago. You see what I'm saying? And I'll bring that same mindset with you, who you are today. If I haven't seen you in five years, I'm gonna get to know you again. Because mm-hmm. it's so much has it's happened. So much yeah. has happened. Yeah. So much has happened. So much has happened. You know what I'm saying? I will learn you. If you still have some certain interests, we'll bond over that. But I want to know. You got to relearn. Yeah, I yeah. got to relearn. So it's like. I feel know. like that's the biggest. That is the key defining difference maker in relationships. Right. When you can accept somebody. It, this is. There's a weird balance with this. Mm-hmm. Because. You can't just accept somebody completely for who they are. Right. Because let's say they're doing something that is detrimental to their life. If you actually did love them, you wouldn't accept that. Yeah, that's true. That's Accepting it. things like that is not loving them and not being there for them. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like with that balance, like there is certain things about them that aren't bad. Right. But you just don't really like. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. You just don't prefer those things. Right. Or they just exactly. aggravate you. Right. <laughs> but you You learn to navigate. You learn like if you can learn to accept those things about the person. Not the things where it's like actually bad that like they need to get their shit together with. Yeah. But like the genuine things where it's like you can accept them for being an introvert. Right. You can accept them exactly, for being yeah. an extrovert. An extrovert. You right. can accept them for liking Pokemon. Right. video games right you know what i mean like yes. or if they don't like to dance you love to dance but they don't like but to that, dance. yeah you, you know what i mean right. and you just accept things. that yeah that is i feel like when a relationship with anybody really Blossoms. solidifies right because then it's right. like damn you know it's like i could fuck up but like you still love me you still love me you know right. what i mean like mm-hmm. i could really as long as like i don't do anything that is extremely oh, oh, yeah. 
Like as long as I don't like have sex with like right. Your wife if or it's not like harmful that. to right, absolutely. like you will accept me and mm-hmm. uh, love me. Yeah, and you will exactly. push me to be the best version of, of yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. At you the same time, that's the goal. It's the goal. You know what I'm saying? And 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 even in the positive, like it works the other way too. It's like with the whole, you know, going back in time and canceling people. <laughs> yeah, like what does that do? Yeah, right? like, we, uh, again, is... like he's the perfect example he used. The person you knew 10, 20 years ago is not who I am it's now. So I it's am. like when these celebrities or these people come on, they're apologizing. What? What are you apologizing for? You're, You're not like, that why? same mm-hmm. man or woman right. that you were. 10, 15, 20 years ago. Right. So why are you apologizing? It's not going to make any difference whether you say it or not. They're still going to uh, run you through the ringer for it. So right. why do it? Why do it, it? It looks sleazy too because I, I really believe like at the end of the day, if you're going to say something, mean it. Yeah. Don't say it because they want you to say it. Stand by it. You know, and it, you can admit that like, hey, you know what? Like, let's look like, because like we say things that are stupid all the time. Like there's times where you could be like, hey, you know what? Probably shouldn't have said that. Right. That's, that was kind of stupid. Yeah. You know? But that's all it is. You just It's simple. Like, hey, you know what? Probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I fucked up. But, that. like, yeah. to make these whole, like, tours of, like, apology tours. Yeah. And, like, videos. <laughs> that's of, like, why, bro. Them yeah. crying. It's like, get the fuck out of here. I roll like, my just, eyes when I see no Are you talking about video. Will Smith? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm like... Or that's why I say he's profiting. Yeah. Yeah. Alan did the same thing. That's why I say he's profiting from it when he, he, I know he's apologizing like genuine. But like, regardless, of, even after that, it was just like, no, nah, it wasn't genuine. That was fake. <laughs> what do you want him to do? Die? <laughs> just die? Like, so every time I fuck up, just die. When someone fucks up, die. Someone does something egregious, just die. Just disappear. That's and it's true. like, you're no better. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, it, it, it blows my mind. That's why I roll my eyes at any apology video. Because I'm like, bro, you really sat, set up your camera, opened up OBS, you know, <laughs> did all this bullshit. Turn on the live turn feed. Turn on the live feed. You know what I'm saying? You wrote a script. You wrote yeah. a script. Yeah. Before you squeeze the it. lemon in your eye. You know what I'm saying? Dude, that's Guys. when they when they fake cry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see females do this a lot. And it's just like... Bro. Bitch, like I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not slick. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's so it's it's whack. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if you meant it, if if you knew it was wrong, if you really meant it, it would have happened sooner or later. And then that's between me and us. Not yeah, so you don't world. apologize to other people with nothing to why do. Do why do you care? Why do you care I, what the that's world? That's why when I see shit like that, when someone does something, I always say, I, I'm always like. Well, that's not for me to accept his apology. So I can't care yeah. if it, it if what it, you say. Yeah. But it, apparently people do. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to be a public spectacle yeah. for everyone to see how sorry you are. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like it's it's so whack when I when when I see stuff like that or when when people it's cringe, bro. Yeah, when yeah, people dig cringe. up your grave. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Just for something that yeah, just for you something, can't like, change. It's the past. The past is the past. You're gonna do you dig want? up George Washington for approving Dude. slavery? Like that's <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, what's I going need on, you to apologize man? now for approving slavery. <laughs> that is why I like people like Bill Burr and Dave Chappelle mm-hmm. because, like, even if they know they said something bad, they're like, you know what? I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. It's in the ether. It's there. You know what I'm saying? I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. I said. Yeah, you know and that's just like, I fuck with that. You know what? Even right. if you say something that I don't like, like, you had the confidence to be like, you know what? I don't give a shit what you think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to say what yeah, I think. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like, how could you not respect that? You know what I'm saying? And, and usually, when it comes to instances like that, if someone says something I don't like, and I feel some type of way, I want to find out why I feel that way. Yeah. Like, understand yeah. why you feel that way, and yeah. don't just be a reactionary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep, that's what oh, we call them. It right. gets, you, gets you thinking, it's dude. A, yeah, I call people like that reactionaries. You because instead of actually uh, creating thinking. their own independent thought and un- trying to understand why they feel the way they feel, they just eat it, regurgitate it, and don't understand why they're regurgitating it. Right. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Of course, there are things that are objectively bad. You know what I'm saying? Of like, course, of yeah. Course. Yeah, not disagreeing. But it's like things that are in the gray area. Like, why do you 100% ride for this? You see what I'm saying? And a lot of the times you ask them that and they can't really give you an tell answer. You. you see what I'm saying? They'll give you instances of someone else. 
you know, or where, what they heard, right, or what they yeah, heard. Yeah, it's a big one. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, that's not rough, you know. Like, do some research before anything why? else. We got we got too many bots, man. Yeah, <laughs> too many PCs. Too many, many PCs. Many PCs around, bro. I think that's the funniest term I've heard in a minute. Uh, oh, the PCs. PCs. Yeah. PCs. <laughs> NPC. Oh, NPC. I love that, yeah. bro. Did you say PCs in the wild? Freaking yeah. NPC in the wild, bro. Yeah. That's just wild, man. Yep. That's wild. They say jump how high? Oh uh-huh, yeah. And it's like, bro, that's tough. Yeah. That's tough. All right, we got the what's. Let's Dutch farmers. Dutch farmers. Yes, you you want to Dude, get us in. That's our last topic. So Dutch farmers. Oh, guess that's the last topic. Good. Okay. So he said good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just because like this is. I wanted this one to be the last one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um. The Dutch farmers essentially like. What is going on with that? Okay. So, basically, what happened was the government told them that their soil that they were using is harming the earth is harming and they made it illegal Uh, okay so they all have to buy this other soil that's more expensive so it puts a lot of them out of business or it just it it like for like 20 30 years these guys have been using this one soil but now it's harming the earth they have built their entire business around using the soil now they have to change it so a lot of these guys are going out of business or like this is literally everybody's food yeah this This is is, people's food this is everybody's food in europe and they're literally fucking with it to the point where like the farmers have gotten so fed up that they're like you know what fuck it we don't have any we're not gonna have any food anyways so just fuck it recession so they're all getting in their tractors and they're all collectively doing the same thing the truckers did damn that's serious man yeah dude you're fucking with people's food, yeah man. fucking world economic form world bro those economic people form. are literally insane and again too somebody gains from it because they're paying more money for the other soil mm-hmm. essentially so yeah. That, yeah. that puts someone's, more money oh yeah, yeah. Someone's, someone's always think they got their no i know that but uh, uh, again too yeah. like really 30 years of using it and then now it's affecting the earth Come now on, it's affecting i know the how, earth. how many people we just have... pulled out a bullshit study yeah <laughs> How many, Yo, people, get how many people have died you know it's just Yo. but it like guys like think about it like that's so fucking insane that's insane like that's everybody's food yeah. that's the only reason these guys are out there in the streets because it's like dude we're gonna starve yeah that's You're why they gonna... keep talking about this whole oh there's a famine coming there's a famine yeah, in se- coming. September, yeah. Like, yeah. I wonder why. The, it's like everybody's going to starve except for like those people who are literally causing it. And it's Fat just cats. like Fat You're going to see a lot. You're going to see a lot of mass migration. You're going to see a lot of mass Dude, migration. Dude, India's fucked. India, India's fucked. And Africa and Africa, India, I feel like India. they're going to get hit the hardest oh, with famines. Oh, freaking Africa just found, what was it? 200 million tons of gold. gold. Is that even Uganda? real? Uganda? Not Africa, real? sorry. Uganda. The 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 leader... Uh, the leader of Uganda, Uganda said, Uganda, come and get your come gold. Come and get your gold. He said, this is yours. Because they were... Um, they're uh, uh, a leader minerals. in mineral export. Yep, minerals. And, and, yeah, mineral and something else. And dirt or something like that. Wait, he told his people to come get the come gold. Come and get the yeah. gold. He's like, it's your gold? He said, this is your gold. He, has, sounds a little he has the squinty eyes, Jeff. Uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't believe you. I need proof. Uganda. I don't know, man. It just seems a little too good to be true. Uganda. Oh, not elections. I mean, let me put gold. Really? Yeah, I heard it's, about that. I don't... it's weird as shit. Yeah, they're, they're playing multiple videos on it, too. God. He literally did I put Uganda, Uganda. Gold, Gold discovery. discovery. Yeah, it should be it. 31 million tons. A recent survey discovered 31 wow. million tons. So that's even that's... more. That's, I think that's more gold that's circulating around the world. Yeah. Dude. Standing at twelve point eight trillion dollars. That's dumb, bro. That is dumb. Yeah, and they've been poor their entire. They've been poor. Well, you remember a lot of these international countries stripped them, made deals with government officials to keep them in power. And we're literally, they were literally allowing open access to their country, to other countries, to take their gold, their diamonds, their ore, their precious metals. Yeah, I heard about that. That shit's fucked. That's fucked. So now, 
uh, with this recent discovery, he's essentially, it hasn't been said yet, but he's essentially closing his borders. But how are you going to defend your border? How are you going to stop people? From- how are you going to stop people from coming in? You don't have a military. You know what protects money? A military. Yeah. yeah. That's what protects so your money. So he has money. to buy a military first before he you closes the border. Granted, <laughs> you could, you know, you know, U.S. works. Higher, Number one arms, arms deal. You know what I'm saying? U.S. is going to be making a lot of money off of this. Yeah. They're that's how you get like, their, Yo. yeah, that's how you get their gold. They're going to do the same thing they did with the Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, like, hey, sir. We'll give you that protection. Yeah, we'll give you yeah, that you protection. <laughs> give us some of that gold. We'll only give you weapons for gold. Yep. <laughs> and it will Nothing increase else. our gold uh, 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 repository. Yep. That's crazy. But he called on his citizens to come. And there's literally videos about there. People using, like, freaking knives and, 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 and shovels digging. And grabbing gold nuggets, gold flakes and stuff to load their pockets. He said before he opens this up to anybody else, he wants his citizens to have as much as, as, much they, as, as they, much they can, can carry. Yep. As much as they 31 million tons? That's dumb! That's dumb! Yeah. Dude. That's so stupid. 31 man. million 12.8 is a the trillion dollars is a lot of money. That's... Crazy, bro, that's bro. like four or five generations. That's crazy. But yeah, man. we might see a Wakanda, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it sounds close. Uganda, Wakanda. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey it's part of the prophecy. It was yeah. meant to happen. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just pay. We'll just pay the world to change our name to Wakanda. <laughs> um, dead. Oh, this man. is wild. Yeah, that's man. crazy. But yeah, yeah. So. Twelve wow. right, trillion yeah. dollars. What it can mean for crypto, <laughs> <laughs> bro? Right? That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, man. Yeah. But that's where we're gonna leave it all. Yeah, we're gonna leave it over that. But it's, it's about that time. It's about that time, yeah. y'all. Yep. David, thank you again for thank you, brother. So for coming. Appreciate yeah, you stopping man. by. Oh, it's, it's always a good time. Bro. Definitely gonna have you on. Dude. Like I said, you get us up anytime, and, and we'll, just, sure, we'll just bring you on, man. Like I love having these conversations. It. And again, too, really like you, we'll be working together with future projects. Yeah, for so sure. that's gonna be awesome. I'm excited, sure. y'all. Yeah, oh yeah, so dude, big facts. Big facts, y'all. Uh, y'all check out his channel on YouTube, man. Illusion. Plug it um, in, man. Plug yeah, in. plug, plug, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug um, in any and everything. Any and everything. Oh, it's, it's talk yeah. about illusion. Yeah, illusion. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, support the TikTok, yeah, baby. Soaring skies. You know what I'm you know. saying? Let's beat the, support, the, the. Help me with the shadow band. Yeah, help my man with the shadow band yeah. for help, real. Help me with the shadow band TikTok illusion. Because uh, he's saying things they they know you they, they don't, don't want, want you to hear. hear. They don't want to hear. They don't I can share the post on yeah on, for sure on your page, and then you can yeah we'll be sh- send it to your audience. we'll be sharing his 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 links and his socials so, on our so page. They can listen to uh, uh, check it out. He he solid editing skills, great videos. I love his uh, uh, documentaries. Uh, check out his Black Rock. That was the first video he dropped. Super solid man. Um, other than that, I'll leave it to you, brother. Thank you guys for joining us at the tabletop today. If you want to catch us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to see our ugly mugs and also check out our new intros on Wednesdays and Thursdays, we are on YouTube. One word, Tabletop Topics. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. And Twitter. And Twitter. And we also... And us, oh no no I just personally post on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm you, yeah, I've I've been created turn that location off. Yeah, man. no locations <laughs> off. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't created a Snapchat for for, for it though. Keep that but, shit yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Oh, man, you will never you find head. me, even they though we always dock yeah. your ass, bro. <laughs> We're somewhere in Florida. <laughs> get swatted, right? Bro, yeah, get swatted but uh, I hope you guys have a good day, weekend, night, or evening. Take care, y'all.